Right, are we back? We might be. We might be back. I think we're back. Oh, jeez. Connection is not looking healthy today. Oh, is it stabilizing? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Very frustrating. But, um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's going on there. But, yeah. I'm sure you get my point, Jack. It's, um, it's weird. Just, uh, you know, just... I don't know. But anyway, yeah, we're back, folks. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, yes, yeah, Squidge. I saw your other picture. It looks so good. Actually, put look little, little mini gingerbread men on. <laughs> the, yeah, that's what I like, I like about Squidge. You um, you go to the effort as well. I like. I wouldn't bother with um, like I don't know, like decoration or like making it look good. I'll just. <laughs> I just be like, how how quickly do I shovel it in my face? Um, let's let's just do that. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't know what the last thing I said was, Jack. Just that um, I feel like he should have uh, been more transparent with you. You know, I know, I understand he wanted to say it to your face. But that wasn't an option. So that doesn't... So then go to plan B, say it via text. Don't go, okay, plan A failed. There we go, so we don't forget about it. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, but... This way it is. Um, yeah, no, get on your squid, on your squid. Why not? Why not? They're knocking around, so why not? I respect it. I respect it greatly. I'm just, I'm just a savage. Um, that's all. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, what did I, what did I need to address? So yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, you know, f fairly, um, fairly busy day. Went out, uh, had some nice food. That was good. Uh, a few drinks, and it was, it was all good. Um, got a decent, uh, decent workout and on Saturday. I, uh. I started and it was um for a couple of minutes I was like I'm just gonna week out today and just you know, not bother doing it. Um but I made myself do it and uh I felt better for doing it. Uh and I've played a bit of um Elden Ring over the weekend. Nothing uh, over the what's I guess a little bit last night, about an hour before stream this morning. And uh was it a little bit of Saturday night? I can't remember. Um, not much, but I haven't like, done anything too crazy. I'll, I'll fill you all in with those, all the details uh, and all the new things I've found and all the new places I've been uh, when we jump over to the game. Um, yeah, I'm good, Wolf. I'm good. How are you, buddy? We had a bit of a hiccup there for a second. Preemptively started. Um, this connection. Uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know, Jack. It's a, it's a weird situation. Cause you know, I like you both, and you know, it's between the two of you. Um, but I completely see what you're saying. It's like, especially as a parent, I feel you should be taking those extra steps anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, don't you, bro? It is what it is, though. I mean, you know, it's... The, the whole thing is just, you know... But they, they enjoyed it, I guess. It was, like, more like a formality, really. It wasn't... I'm sure it's meaningful f to them. But... It, <laughs> I'm just mean, like, from... Like, your perspective and, at, like, mine and Pete's perspective. If it was just like, eh, we didn't... It's not, it doesn't really ma like make that much difference to us. <laughs> um, playing some DayZ. Hey, nice wolf. I've heard good things about it. Sorry. Uh, 
the connection today, guys, is um. Let's hope we don't get any cut out, cutting out again. It's not as bad as it was a few weeks ago. You know, when I just finished a couple of hours early because it was jank. But uh, my numbers and colours are like all over the place at the minute. It's like con every second it is red, yellow, orange, green, red, yellow, orange, green. Diddle, 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 diddle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's balanced out. Okay, now it's sat in the green and it's got a decent number. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Squidge. It's yeah. and some you lose. <laughs> yeah. uh, it seems good to you, does it, Wolf? Excellent. We'll keep an eye on it, guys. Uh, do tell me if it. If I miss that, it's crap the bed. Um, we'll, we'll take it from there. But yeah, uh, had a enjoyable um, Red Dwarf watch party yesterday. Had a bit of a cock up, but uh, Seven came to the rescue with her DVD collection. Thank you, Seven. Um, that's uh, the first half of season four done. Uh, greatly enjoyed it. We'll be on, uh, on the, the second half of season four uh, next Sunday. Uh, and they had a uh, conversation with Slight of Game, um, one of my best friends on the, who I've met through uh, Twitch. And uh, it's been a, a good long while. It's been like, must have been well over six months since we'd had to sit down and chat. So that was good to catch up with him. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe. I think, he, I think he's working at the minute, Red Mage. So it's not like he's going to be uh, playing video games or anything. But, um, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's doing very well. Uh, yeah, he's been through a lot recently, Squidge. Obviously, um, uh, his mother-in-law just died suddenly, uh, a little, you know, several weeks ago. Um, so obviously that's a big deal. He had to help with that. And then obviously all of our American friends have been busy over the weekend with the Thanksgiving and all that. Um, yo, Sleep Mick, how you doing? Uh, are you well? I hope you're good. I hope you're good, buddy. Um, how was your Thanksgiving, uh, Slick? Was it good? Uh, yeah, I hope you're well. I hope, I hope you and the, uh, the fam had a good time. But yeah, what else, uh, what else do I need to, uh, address today, guys? We'll set the world to rights. Do, do let me know. But yeah, it's the little things in life. Just, uh, a mic arm that works. That can hold your mic and honestly the construction is such that um i thought oh, you know we've got a lifetime mic we should the, the the boom should be lifetime now i don't see how it's gonna break touch touch wood my desk you hear that it's pretty solid that was my desk it wasn't anything else don't don't <laughs> don't panic folks um Oh, yeah, nice. Slick. I respect that, buddy. Not feeling the pressure to conform. You're like, yo, it's a special day. But we don't have to do that. We can just have pizza. And, I mean, honestly, it's not... <laughs> it's not a terrible option, is it? <laughs> um... Take the day off, Squidge. Don't force yourself. You'd be less. You'd be um. You'd be less productive, and you'll be like more kind of like a, a not a good mood because you're making yourself. Squid, you got to look after yourself. I know you. I know you. You are very. You have an excellent work ethic, and you're very um dedicated. But uh, you know. And I'm just, it's good that you are, you, you, you're your own boss. You're checking yourself. You're not letting yourself be lazy. You're not letting yourself get away with slacking off. But you, but understand, Squid, you can take that too far. To, to your detriment. You know, you can't work every day. You take the weekends off, right? You you relax Saturday and Sunday, right? Um, you're at least, you're, you know, you have one day off a week where you don't do anything. You understand the importance of that. Uh, you know, if you're not if if you're physically not feeling good, you you know you'd be better to. I bet if you take the day off and rest, you'll be more productive tomorrow than if you force yourself to work today 
do half, you know, half decent job of work, but you're still not feeling very, you're not, you're not feeling as good tomorrow as if you took the day, you know, rest of the day. Up to you. Uh, yeah, there you go. You take Sundays off most of the time. Exactly. And you understand the importance of that. You're not like, ah, you know, I'm being lazy. You're not like, oh, mentally telling yourself, oh, well, I, sh I should never take a day off. You know, so you understand the concept. You just, uh, you know, maybe you take it too far sometimes. I'm not saying be lazy. I'm not saying, ah, you know, because some people are like, ah, oh, well, you know, ooh, like, oh, oh, I've got a little, oh, I've got a little sniffle. I take the day off. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, I took yesterday off. That was Monday. So I might as well just take the whole week off. <laughs> right? You're not going to do that. You're not going to allow yourself to do that. You know, it's like um, I uh, I I had a couple of cigarettes on Friday. I had two cigarettes I smoked. Um, you know, imagine you know, if I was like, oh well, I've smoked two cigarettes. I might as well just become a full time smoker again. No, because I know that's ridiculous. Um, right? Same thing. Same thing. So, you know, Squidge, I'm not going to make you work today, but I'm giving you permission to take the day off because you know because you'll be more productive um arguably better seven um because I, I understand your lungs are constantly in the process of cleaning themselves whereas your liver does not once it's damaged is permanently damaged <laughs> thank you ryan thank you sir 15 months how you doing sir ryan are you well we are back we are back buddy we're back and better than ever yeah this guy not this guy, this this other guy. <laughs> Indeed, Slate Make. Um, bless you, Ryan. Thank you. How are you doing, bud? How was your Thanksgiving? How was your weekend? Uh, yeah, he's Ryan smashing it up. Number one supporter. Um, you know, don't I don't mind saying it. Bless you. Thank you, Ryan. Um, but yeah, no. Technically, technically, I guess it's like micro damage. Like, you could uh, drink your whole alcohol your whole life. And if you do it in moderation, it's, you're not going to be any worse the wear for it. But uh, I, this is what I've heard. On a, on a microscopic level, any amount of alcohol is doing uh, irreparable damage to your liver. Um, but it's, but the, the, the way the liver functions, it's technically not an issue. Um you know, uh, so I could be better, but who, I don't know. I, I still think it's not good, Seven, but you know, balance. Use it as a test. Yeah, do, do, try this squid. Use it as a test. Take today off as a test to yourself to see if you can make yourself get back and work tomorrow. Yeah, motivate yourself. You know, it's like when I do when I work out. The hardest workout is the one you don't want to do, which is never any of them, obviously. <laughs> Uh, you know, like this Saturday, I was like halfway through my stretches. I was like, oh, I'm like t t playing little mind games with myself. Or maybe, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do my stretches, or maybe I'll just do like one set of lifting, and you know, or maybe I'll just skip the cycling. But I was like, no, I was like, no. Yeah. Then the other, you know, the angel was like, don't listen to that devilly motherfucker on your uh, shoulder, is because you know he's trying to make you his bitch. I know you anybody's bitch is. I was like, no. No, well, maybe the society as a whole, but that's all of us. But I was like, no. I'm not going to be anybody's bitch, including my own bitch. Conky in a bitch, folks. So sometimes it's good to, you know, it's good to stay on top of it, but it's good to test yourself sometimes. Like, you know, say if you've got like a real strict, clean diet, and you're like, you know, that's a strong thing to do and maintain it, the discipline. But maybe it's even more disciplined to go one day of the year, just go, fuck it. The diet's out the window. And then immediately the next day, you know, like it's almost like purposely knock yourself down to purposely force yourself to get back up again. Um, most people can't do that. Test yourself. Strengthen yourself. Do it. That's why I, I don't know. I don't know. Making offers to go along, obviously. Sween, how you doing, Sween? hope you're well um 
It was lacklustre, was it, Ryan? You know why, Ryan? It's because I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I'd be giving some thanks if I was at your house. Nothing like that, guys. Calm yourselves. <laughs> uh, well, who knows? I don't... <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Red Mage is. It's, it's, it's a, the human body is a paradox. Um, if we compare, if you look at like how uh, it fights disease, infection, bacteria, how quickly it heals, it can heal broken bones. Um, you can take all sorts of uh, scrapes, knocks, like damage. You know, I've heard of like stories of human beings getting shot through the head the brain with a gun a bullet through the brain through the skull and like and living <laughs> and, and surviving and being kind of okay on that you know on that side of the coin my god human beings are so durable we can do all sorts of crazy wild things and survive but red mage yes when we look at the uh on the cosmic scale or we look at um the natural world Human beings are basically very soft bags of water. Um, we are so vulnerable. We are so weak. We are so easily killable. Um, you know, if you think most of existence is... We can't survive in most of it. <laughs> yeah, we can't go underwater. We can in vehicles, but... You know, we can't be underwater... And we can't be in the, what is the vast, vast majority of existence, the vacuum of space, which is the normal state of existence, really. That void of space, that's that's the base reality, isn't it? Uh, there's just stuff in it. And thankfully, the stuff that we are on has a breathable atmosphere. It's pretty lucky, that. Pretty lucky we got that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a fascinating. It's fascinating to think about, Red Mage. Um. Yeah, no, yeah, and he, yeah, I've heard that as well, uh, Slick. Uh, that some amounts of some types of alcohol actually have other benefits, but um, yeah, like I say, I don't know what if all I heard was correct. Just uh, like I just heard that any amount of alcohol going through your uh, system as it passes through your liver, it's like a filtration system, and you think of it as getting blocked up. It's like doing like microscopic scarring to your liver, which doesn't affect its overall health or its overall function. It does it if it builds up enough. Um, but that microscopic scarring can never heal. It is for the rest of your life. Whereas if you smoke a cigarette, it's putting shit in your lungs. Your lungs are self-regulating to clean themselves. And it can take a long time. Um... But assuming you don't get any long-term um, health complications or lung cancer or anything, in theory, they would. If you stopped long enough, uh, they would clean themselves. And by clean themselves, I mean to like when you're <coughs> ha hacking shit up, um, among other things. Uh, they could get to the point where they could, in theory. I don't know if it's practically speaking uh, a reality, but in theory, um, a, a doctor could look at your lungs and be and not know if you'd smoked or not ever in your life. Has this person ever smoked? They don't appear to have. Yes, they did. They just gave up for a very long time and their lungs have eventually cleaned themselves out. That's not saying one is better than the other. I don't have a problem with anyone indulging in either. Just moderation. Little, you know, just a, a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, haven't you got Octopath? Squidge you just bought. Get into that. Treat yourself. Just treat yourself. Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do, uh, Squidge. I'm not creative in the same way that you are, but just taking a... Sleeping on it or taking a break from something, doing something else, can actually help the productivity of your other thing than if you just banging your head away at it forever um uh um oh the quote uh whiz I, I believe it's uh attributed to Misashi uh that's what I understand uh then Lao Tzu 
might be i don't know you'd have to look it up um but uh welcome in i i i know as from being uh musashi but maybe he jacked it i don't know um but uh welcome in anyway I'm pleased to meet you um yeah, this is what I'd heard. I guess I, I think it's urchins. I think it's relative to uh, how much you yourself smoke. Um, Miyamatsu Musashi. Uh, yeah, that's what. That's just my understanding. Book of Five Rings. Have you read it? Recommend highly. Recommend it. I'd be. I mean, maybe. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you, uh, yeah, basically yeah right check it out if you can i uh, i don't know if you can you might be able to get it online for free to read not the obviously physical book uh because i obviously it's uh out of copyright so <laughs> uh but yeah highly recommend it's a good short read um there you go yeah yeah he uh i'm not oh my god our connection is not looking healthy at the minute how are we doing over there are we crashed out are we crashing out again Oh dear. Give it a second. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, down in the red now. We're dipping off again. Uh, but yeah, weird. So it was just a, a uh, basically a ref because I'm a big fan. It was a, basically a reference to obviously we're playing Elden Ring, which I assume that you're a fan of, and that's how you found us today. Um, a lot of people are like. Yo, what's your build? What's your build? What? And I'm like, I don't, I don't have a build. Uh, I'm never gonna have enough runes to have a build. <laughs> I, d I do whatever, whenever. Ah, well that, that's not how you should play. Well, that what you know, what other people want to do doesn't affect me. So you know, uh, <laughs> yes, we are gonna be getting to Elden Ring shortly. Hopefully, if this connection uh, levels out. I do apologize what level are we i think we're 26 27 something like that no no i'm on xbox um yeah thank you squidge i don't know it's, uh, it's up and down at the minute we're gonna just um we're gonna uh give it a minute there's no point in me getting into the game while we're um while it's all over the place like this um Uh, yes, yeah, uh, got, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, Red Mage. Uh, God, it's all over the place, I don't know what it is today. I kind of, um, I even sometimes prefer it, like, just for the, uh, connection to just not work and just die. Because then I'm like, okay, well, it's dead, we can't do anything. Um, when it's, like, up and down all over the place like this, it's, um, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrating um but yeah i feel like wiz i feel like i'm slightly under leveled uh for a couple of reasons we for, when we started as a, uh, the wretch so we started as a uh, level one naked guy <laughs> which uh I, you know I was, which was good you know because it gave us a lot of um uh get you did in fact Can I sit here? uh rfd hello there uh thank you for follow uh it gave us a lot of um sense of achievement finding any items or leveling up at all and i do kind of feel that i don't know i feel it's trickier compared to the dark souls games in terms of that difficult to start um but yeah that is, it's been good uh more greater sense of achievement having uh got there but um the other thing the other factor is i'm uh, a little bit ocd with collecting items so I've put most of our runes that we've gone to buying uh, vendor items rather than leveling up. Should I have done that? Oh, it's neither here nor there. I did it. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, you do it, Squidge. Thank you for the luck. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's leveled out again. Now we're, uh, now we're in the green again. Decent number. I don't know what's going on, folks. But... Um, But I shall, um, yeah, we'll, we'll hope we'll get along. But anyway, unless there's anything else anybody wants me to specifically address, you let me know. 
we'll get into Elden Ring. Um, but yeah, enjoy your, your Octopath uh, travels, uh, Squidge. I hope it goes well. I look forward to, to playing it one day myself. All right, here we go. So let me... Um, uh, I mean, if I if I need any help with anything, uh, Wiz, I'll uh, I will sure I will ask for help, but uh, definitely no spoilers. But um, I oh, let me get a cam up on here as well. There we go. But yeah, if you know, the worst is when people are like, "Oh, have you been here? Have you seen this? Have you done that? You should do this now." I'm like, you should go and play the game on your own uh, and leave us alone. <laughs> uh so <laughs> so um yeah i mean uh i'm trying to think of like random tips we had a guy here the other day who was like ah do you know about the uh the counter the block counter and i was like no tell me about it and i was like oh i think he mentioned it in the uh in the tutorial and i kind of glossed over it um Um, so that was useful, and Coptimus has, um, you know, given me a few tips, you know, things on, uh, you know, like equipment, or, I don't know, um, it's, it's hard, it's hard to quantify, um, Root, how you doing there, Root, um, thank you for that, Re is that a resub there, uh, Wretch Nib and Beyond. Bless you, Root. How are you doing, Root? How was your uh, Thanksgiving? Sorry I couldn't like talk to you yesterday. I uh like I say I had to get uh, and have a little meeting with Slight. We had to uh pre book a time, so um do apologize for that. Um but the major bosses whiz, we have just done uh Godric is the only like what I guess major boss um is uh and we've just been exploring. My god, the game is um I guess I, I don't feel overwhelmed by the gameplay now, but I am still overwhelmed by the size of the world. There's just so much to look at. There's so many places to go, so many hidden things. Uh, and we've got a lot of options. So I'll, I'll backtrack over what I've done since we lasted a proper stream of this on Wednesday. And... Um, I might have... I mean, Wiz, I might have already done it. Um... Oh, I might have missed it. You know what uh, Souls quests are like. Um, but bless you, Root. Thank you so much. Oh, the new knife's out. The new knife's out. Wait, did you mention this the other day, Root? What is that? Is that a movie? I don't know. Um... Right. Let me pull up the map and show you where I've been and what is going on. My God. Um, so you may remember, guys, uh, from uh, Wednesday, Wednesday stream, we were just looking around um, the rest of, like, Eastern Limgrave because we hadn't checked this out. And we'd kind of uh, finished exploring it. Remember, we were doing the stuff with... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Ke Kenneth Height. <laughs> Interesting fellow. Uh, and then the last thing we found... Was this uh this uh little place here, Siofra River Well, uh, which went down into the underground? I don't know if you remember that, and that's where we kind of left the stream. I was like, oh my god, check the underground. There's an underground area. What the bloody hell? Um, so that was going to be the plan. So because I had a bit of time, I was like, um, uh, so I don't want to do anything crazy off stream. So I definitely didn't want to go exploring the underground off stream. So I backed up and was like, okay, what outside areas can I get to exploring? Um, so we've kind of like half explored some of the lake areas, haven't we? So I started back up here. Um, um, okay, murder mystery. Okay, that's cool, Root. Right? That's cool. Yeah, no, it did. It did. It went. It was very well. It did go very well. Thank you, Root. Uh, they had a good time. Um, it was, you know, it was quite small. There wasn't many people there. Um, but my God, the food afterwards was excellent. Um, and uh, we, yeah, they had a good time. 
so thank you, Root. I appreciate that. I'll uh, I'll be sure to next time I see them, I'll be uh, sure to uh, let them know. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just uh, there we go. Yeah, I, I find my what's going on there. I find myself with less and less time to watch movies anymore. I don't know what it is. I'm more inclined to any of my watch time just goes to um most exclusively documentaries nowadays. I, I guess I do watch anime in it an episode or two of an evening but um it's uh yeah movies i just even ones that seem appealing i'm just i don't know i feel like if i watch it and don't enjoy it then i feel like cheated <laughs> um i don't know i don't know why it's on me but anyway what i start to do um because like that down in the actual lakes so we've explored this first little area here i don't know if you check these uh land masses over here but i don't know if you remember i think this was also this might have been on tuesday actually um one of these little ruins here teleported us and it took us up to um the entrance to the academy which we can't get into um and uh, then we spent most of that stream kind of exploring all of these ruins around here. We've got a freaky boss over there. We'll deal with him later. Um, we haven't checked over here. We got a clue that a key to the academy may be over here. So a lot of the stuff in the northern lake, we've not looked at any of this up here. Um, I don't know that we've... Uh, been... Oh, Ryan. Bless you. Thank you. Um, Dragon King slicing up. Appreciate it. Sorry about this noise in the background, the stompy guy. I'll uh, show you him in a second. Um, so uh, we haven't been up to this plateau here yet. I've not uh, found or gone looking for a way. We did go up on this little ridge to the Ever Jail, but I think I might need to go and just recheck it, make sure they've not missed anything. Um, over here, we did that dungeon there. We've got a tree to do at some point. Um, and we did that ever jail there. Um, but, so I guess we've checked that area, roughly speaking, but we haven't checked any further north of that. Uh, I don't know why, but I just start, decided to kind of start on this other landmass over here to the east. So I found a dungeon there. That dungeon I have cleared, apart from the boss. I didn't want to do the boss on uh, on stream, basically. Um, this cave here, I went to yesterday. And I didn't realise it had a boss at the end. I kind of stumbled into the boss and I ended up defeating the boss. Um, there didn't seem to be anything else there, though. It wasn't anything too crazy. It was basically like a was it clear, clear rot night, I think it was called. His basic mechanic was he was the whole, like 90% of the room was poison. You just stood in poison the whole time fighting him. Which wasn't too bad. Uh, I just pulled the wolves out and they wrecked him. So, got that done. Um, up here, this ruin here, uh, had an, I think it was this one, was it? Was this one up here? I looked at it a lot. No, uh, I think yeah, I think it was this Rinia. Had another teleporter. I was like, oh, another teleporter? Where does this go? Also takes you to the same place in the academy. So I was like, okay, that's not massively helpful. Hang on a second. I'm going to just take us out of it. We're in the area of the stompy guys. The Mausoleans. And there's a couple here that like to jump up in the air like that. I don't know why. They do. Oh, we lost the cam. Sorry, guys. I do apologize. Let me get that back. Here we go. And the connection looking shit again. Oh my god. Um, let me get out of here a second where we're actually going to go. We'll be back down here to start with. Um, these noisy ants. I don't even know what they're for yet. There's one nearby there. I tried to jump on the back of it. Couldn't quite jump on the horse. So we shall see uh, about it. Could just be there for show. They seem like they're a thing. You don't seem to be able to kill them. Uh, it, the vibe I get is you should be able to get on top of them, like on top of the tower or on, on the base of the tower to get inside the tower. But I don't, I don't know. Anyway, 
enough stompiness as i was saying uh <laughs> um so yeah i found another teleporter so everything's like leading you towards the academy um what else i um i think it was there i met the uh the blind girl who's the pilgrim and she wanted grapes she was like give me some more grapes so i found some more grapes and gave them to her and she was like oh thank you you're so kind um further up uh there she is again i bumped into her again she's like oh she moved a bit further north she's like can i have some more grapes please and i was like okay but i don't have any more so i, I do i'm still looking for some of these uh, shibiri grapes to give to her there maybe i've stumbled across them i don't know down here um jarberg a nice little lovely town there's nothing to be anything there there's lots of flowers growing um but the little jar people seem to live there um so it's like, okay cool i don't know what the point of it is but there might not be a point um i forgot to put that marker there some like a uh, strong good dude hanging around i need to fight um artist shack uh i found another one of these paintings which is maybe hint hinting towards a hidden treasure i don't know what it is it seems to be of the academy with a tree in the background but who knows from what angle this was interesting so this appears to be heading towards one of these bigger tower things maybe where we uh, activate another greater rune uh, but i got in here down the bottom there is like a kind of a, a weird pedestal to play something uh, but i started making my way up through the tower uh, there's little random dudes in there ghostly warriors there was another dark spirit uh basically a mage which was a pain in the ass to fight but i killed it um uh, you slowly work your way through this kind of like library like tower you get to the top into the rafters and there's a section that looks like it drops down from the ceiling to go up any further i couldn't find a way or a switch or any way to bring that down i'm just going to guess that may be assuming that this does lead to uh, a place where you uh, use another great rune we have to get renala's great rune first before we can get through there but it's i assume that dark spirit's not going to return so it's cleared and prepped for going back later what else um aha uh -huh. this here another little ruin also goes down to the underground so let me show you if we zoom out so that's our first uh grace there in the underground and here's another one all the way over here so we've got two options when we do decide to go and visit the underground uh i don't, I don't know <laughs> over here uh church of vows we met uh, an npc called miriel the pastor of vows who's a giant turtle tortoise uh go go meet him again i'll show you him in a bit and he was saying about how um radagon the red uh, uh he was basically the guy who married him to um queen uh renata so uh that was like a, a he had some insight into that he's selling uh, he's also the guy who i don't know if you remember very near the beginning of the game we found a sorcery scroll that we uh we showed to roger and he's like i can't do anything with this this guy was like oh yeah i can do something like that so he's got a bunch of sorceries for us to buy uh to some of them ones are like ten thousand runes so i'll have to wait a bit over here i've started making my way a little bit to the north um this this we've got all these uh big stompy mausoleum guys around here and that's where i was just uh at that grace there not headed any further north here looks like we've got buildings there and there and stuff around here another cave there um that one i've not looked into at all so we're looking into that and obviously we've got another minor urge tree there uh that's like a cave down there but i could not see a way for us to get down from here looks like we have to uh be down on the lake uh, another mausoleum stomping around over there uh here um oh box moved over there has he curious um we've got another finger crone who said something about oh you head into the grand lift or maybe you throw yourself into the water instead and take the coward's way out i was like i don't know bitch i don't know we'll see <laughs> i don't even know what you're talking about um so there's a few little structures here we didn't really i've not really looked at uh, i started kind of heading around this way a little bit 
and there's a load of kind of like uh, plague rats and stuff. I don't know if it's heading east in this direction or north in this direction, but just being in the area, suddenly you're afflicted by madness and you die. You just drop down dead because you're too close to something. So I have to watch out for that. Um, so that's basically what we've done. I can show you there are new items and stuff I've stumbled across as well. But uh, let me catch up on chat for a minute because I'm, uh, I'm a little bit behind. Um, there we go, backing up slightly. Um... Yeah, that uh, there's a few uh, Elden Ring ones in um in that one you sh shared, Red Mage, on the Conflux. Red Mage, if I ever get if I ever get behave like that live on stream, please just uh, put me out of my misery. Yeah, I don't want to be like that ever. Um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit adamantoist like. Um, yeah, I don't know. Part of me wants to just. Because if I'd not played any Red Mage, we would just probably be exploring the underground right about now. We need to, but, um... I mean, I don't know. Is it like its own other area? I don't know. I don't, honestly, uh... I'm inclined to just keep exploring above ground for now. Um, so let me sh show you, uh... I'm not leveled up at all, but we've bought some stuff. Um, and found I found a bunch of stuff just wandering around as well. Um, let me see if there's anything worthy of note I need to mention. Okay, so I found some land square ashes, which are the little poison spewing, gas spewing pods that just sit there. Um, I've not tried them out. Summon the spirit of three land squirts. Uh, summoning consumes hit points rather than uh, FP for some reason. Uh, these spirits appear some distance from the summoner. The firm, fleshy tubes of the creatures remain rooted to the spot, spraying poisonous liquid over their surroundings. Uh, how useful they might be, I have no idea. Uh, ah, skeletal bandit ashes. The, yeah, okay, I'm not leaving a look to this guy. Spirit of a bandit who lives in death and continues to rise again until probably finished off. So I guess he's like the militia men, but he's one stronger than two smaller. Um, where was it? It was... Um, I think this is like the last thing I did last night. It was like around here. There was another one of the ferrymen. Um, not only that, we were able to summon uh, D to come and help us. Um, so much tougher than the first one we we fought. Um, same functioned exactly the same. And was over like a, a wider area of teleportation. And uh, had a lot more hit points. But basically the same. So we got that done. Um, and I'll show you what we uh, got for that in a second. Not equipment. Inventory. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Red Mage. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I haven't tried that out. It could be, could be interesting. Uh, I think... Was it another one? No, no. Okay. We've already got everything else there is the same. Various random crafting materials I've found. Um... Got a bunch more of these cracked pots. Uh, how useful they will be, I don't know. Um, ah, yeah, and I've recently just found a gold, yeah, gold sewing needle and golden tailoring tools. I went, I took it to Bok, to see if Bok wanted to use it, uh, but he didn't mention it. But now he's moved location, so maybe, maybe he will use it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we got uh, I got some new sorceries. Um, this, the magic downpour, summons a magic mass that sprays projectiles over an area. That was the, what the dark spirit was using on me. Um, and I got that as reward for defeating it. Can't use it, but never mind. Um, I think we've got a bunch of new uh, incantations. What's new? Uh, yeah, Blessings Boon. Uh, Litany of Proper Death and Order's Blade. They're all new. Can't use any of them. So let's not worry about them in a minute. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else do I get? Yeah, uh, there you go. Fl a flame cleanse me. Now, that could be pretty useful. Not only does it cure poison, it also cures the scarlet rot. Um, so even if it's just to get that, we should probably put a couple of points into faith. 
Um, Bestial Sling. This is what I got. I traded the Death Root we got from the Mariner um, to... Uh, uh, what was the name? Uh, I want to say Galil. It's not it. It's something similar. The Beast Priest. The Bestial... Preacher? No. Priest? I don't know. I, oh, I can't remember what his name is. But anyway. Um, I've not tried it out. We can use it, though. Swiftly slings numerous sharp rock shards. Um, how that would compare to the flame sling, I don't know. It might be real good. It might be not. So that's all the extra spells we got. Um, I think I've stumbled across a bunch of new weapons. Picked up a bastard sword. Seems to be very similar to the claymore. Basically, same, exactly the same stats. So, I don't know which one's better. Um... Oh, so I'll stumble across. Um, okay, yeah, we've got a monk's flame mace. Real chunk, chunky mace there. Heavy and good damage. Um, ah, this looks cool. I found a tree spear. Um, you need 22 decks and 18 faith to wield it properly. But I bet it does some decent damage. Golden spear with tree-like design. Wielded by knights employed as palace guards in the royal capital of Landel. Deals holy damage. Requiring superior dexterity to wield, this great spear can perform consecutive thrust attacks despite its larger size. It is quite large. And the fact that it does not only physical but holy damage as standard anyway. Seems cool. I found a scythe. Which is pretty seemed pretty cool. Um can use it. Does have blood uh, build up, but you know, whether it's uh, a viable option, I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah, I bought the little grafted dragon head just because, you know, for the collection. Um, uh, not strong enough or have the faith to make the proper use of it, but I figured we're far likely to get the stats to use that than uh, Godric's axe. Uh, and that seems to be it uh, in terms of weapon, new weapons. I found a couple of new catalysts. Um, I can't really use at the minute um fair enough uh what else bunch of, of yeah various uh various new helms got a gargoyle helm uh and a mirror helm both far too heavy to wear uh <laughs> um anything else that randomly stands out uh yeah various uh random equips so i got nothing uh to get too excited about okay i did get some talismans um, raises maximum hit points. I bought that cheaply. Uh, the Cerulean Seed Talisman. Uh, boosts FP restoration from the Flask of Cerulean Seed. So it makes your, uh, your blue flask, which we're not really using at the minute, more effective. Which is great. Do you want to spend the talisman slot just on that? I suppose if you're a mage character, that might not be a terrible idea. Uh, we've also got a Two Fingers Heirloom. Which raises your faith stat by five points. Pretty cool. Again, do you want to uh, take up a talisman slot for that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, I also got a winged sword insignia. I think I got this from killing the the rot knight. I can't say for certain. Uh, raises your attack power with successive attacks. Um, so if you're doing like what, combos. That seems pretty good. Arguably even better than the curved sword or the, uh, the claw talisman for your counters or your jumping attacks. But I'm just, you know, I don't have the talisman slots at the minute. We're rocking the uh, arsenal and the green turtle, so we'll stick with those, I guess. And I think that's everything, basically. Um, yo, mum, how you doing there? Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. Um... But anyway, thank you for the lurk there, Red Mage. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you like a good thrust, Urchins? Excellent. So, um... Got so much to look at today. And I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I'm inclined for us to kind of keep exploring here. So we want to... I've got a boss to do here. Then we've, uh got another cave up there to explore and with presumably a boss at the end and then i want to get back here to the stompy boys and try and explore this plateau here um because we've got buildings there buildings there buildings there 
which I want to go and, and also probably look at the Erd tree. If he's got a boss there, an avatar, will probably stay away from that. But yeah, that's what I need to do now. Um, can't really seemingly head north. Although I'll try. We need to watch out for the, the insta-kill madness. Just going roughly into that area. So let's focus on that for now. Um... Uh, thank you, thank you, cheers, mum. Appreciate. <laughs> uh, I will. Uh, I'm just gonna put a hoodie on. It's a little bit chilly in here. Won't be a sec. There we go. So I've done a lot, but. Uh... There's a lot more to do. Oh, you also notice I probably I've kept track of all my deaths as well while I was playing off stream. So uh that we are up to two seven one. Uh no small amount. I'm sure it'll be much greater by the time we finish the game. <laughs> but um I think that's about thirty deaths I did off stream. So some of them are just stupid ones. Like just falling on the horse and I just fell too far. Some of them were legitimate incompetence. Uh, and obviously, like I say, one was just for going to too far in a direction <laughs> so i'll have to watch out for that okay but first things first let's uh let's go deal with the boss down here this was uh, a tricky little dungeon honestly I had some of those um you know the big fat dudes with the giant swords I had a bunch of those guys hanging around i mostly i ran away from most of them um oh There we go. Bloody little imps. Bleh. I am. Any more? Okay, yeah, cool. It's down here. So I have no idea. So there you go. First to fight of the stream, we are going to be fighting a boss. I have no idea what the boss is. Um, let's go find out. Um, I guess we'll probably pull our wolves out. So they're the one we've uh, leveled up a little bit. I need some... Oh, okay. It's one of these things, is it? Another watchdog. Oh, a magic one. Nice and simple. Not bad for a first attempt. Rarely does that happen. Uh, Kaiden Sellsword Ashes. Mm, okay, who's the Kaiden Sellsword? Spirit of a mercenary belonging to a horse riding folk. Skillfully uses a massive blade made for dismounting other riders and enhances his already considerable strength with war cries. The cell swords of Kaiden made their uh, prowess known on countless battlefields. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's uh, one of the special types. So, um... He might be the, the, the best, like, single... like, standard uh, summon. Well, we've got our Glintstone Sorcerer, obviously. Filling two different uh, niches there. K 
cool. I wonder if it's kind of uh, stacking them in order as well. It's got our, like crappy ones down the bottom there. And it's got our weird little creatures. And it's got our sold, you know, next tier up soldiers, and it's got our specials there. So it seems like. Okay, cool. Another summon. Who were fish eaters? <laughs> I knew a bomb band. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, fair enough, urchins. Yeah, I mean, I would say uh, just just be uh, just be honest about it. Was it so you feel it's more obvious uh, back in the day? Yeah, I don't know, because I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit on the spectrum, so I don't really look at people when I'm out and about, uh, and I don't really notice when people are looking at me, for the most part, um, but, uh, yeah, you'd hope that they would, like, make, you know, it would be, it would be fairly obvious, or not, or if someone's got a problem, but you just be, I'll just be honest, like, if, if, if a bro's like, Yo! Oi, you little urchin! Why are you looking at me? And you're just like, because I, you know, I want to get you naked. Um, you know, I'm not trying to fight you. Uh, but then, I guess to some guys, they could take that as, like, fighting talk, couldn't they? Oh, what? I take it as a compliment. Um, but that's just me. Oh my god, sorry, my controller. I'm back on the, uh, the cable here. But the battery's running out. And does it want to work? Does it going to work? Going to work, controller? Please work. Do me a favor. Please work. You can't believe how little. Um... <laughs> yeah, exa exactly, exactly, Rube. Just, uh, just you know. I don't know. I, I'm not good with relationships, uh, or you know, or, or hooking up with people, urchins. Uh, but I, I mean, um, I think like apps are like what a lot of people do nowadays don't they if you're just after you know getting a you know getting some sexy times in that's what a lot of people go for but i don't know yeah i mean it's obviously nothing nothing wrong with like looking at people to admire them but if you're actually trying to pull maybe i don't know maybe i, I can't imagine doing that uh like successfully just uh just like randomly doing it if that makes sense <laughs> like when you're out and about you just see someone you like um please do ryan i will jo i'll join that religion ryan you're the high priest of the breakfast mozzarella stick i'll uh i'll uh I'll, i will preach that oh my god ryan you have the best taste uh <laughs> yeah it'd be a war crime would it <laughs> I would, uh, not for me. I'd be there. I'll, I'll be in the debauchery with you. I'll join that church, uh, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> my God. Mm. Um, anyway, okay, so that was a nice, very simple boss there. Um, yeah, okay, let me, uh, let me head up to the uh, temple. Um, is it there? No, it's here. Um, yeah, the, uh, not temple, the Church of Vows, and we'll meet, uh, Meet this turtle, bro. To show show him. He's, he seems cool. I don't know if he's a monster at first. He's not. He's a, he's a friendly guy. Um, he got a little pipe hat as well. Uh, <laughs> um, because I've got sorceries I want to buy from him. I don't know if three thousand runes is enough to buy one. I know he's got one that's ten thousand. Um, yeah. Uh, indeed, Ryan. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Here now. I was looking around and I was like, I saw there got to be something cool in here. And I was like, oh my god, this giant turtle. Tortoise. Look at this little pope hat. Greetings. Do you need anything? He's a, he's a cool, ch cool and chill guy. And he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's skilled with incantations and sorceries. Um, yeah, there you go. A blessing's boon. That's a, uh, yeah, grants blessing to yourself and nearby allies. I bought that. Just get in the bank. 
Now, I'm sure some of you are like, just a, a general gamers, all those of you familiar with Elden Ring, like, you're like, it's why are you spending runes on stuff you can't even use yet? You might as well be leveling up. I have a little touch of OCD. I like to, in these games, I like to, I want to, I want every spell, even if I cannot use them. I just want to have them. So they're there just in case I'm ever able to use them. I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so I bought that, the uh, uh, carrion slicer. Or swift sweeping slash using a magical sword. Yeah. It doesn't give you a magic sword. I think it's just the magic attack is like a, whoosh, a cut in front of you. Um, kind of just a magic sword and lives a swift a sweeping slash. Um... Yeah, even among the Kar Karian uh, sword sorceries, this is a notably effective technique. Right, the 10,000 one. The great sword. Yeah, same thing, but... Uh, yeah, armed with this spell, sorcerers gain the strength of knights. Their loyalty sworn to the moon. Um, very, uh, very cool. So I guess it's the, the, the same thing, but just more damage, I assume. Um, more cost as well. Wow, the slice is only 4 FP. It'd be very, very easy to build a, a mage character swinging around these magic swords. Um, right, then we've got the magic glint blade. Uh, creates a sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay. Right, okay, yeah. So that's like, I think that's one of those hovering blades. And then we've got the phalanx as well. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and buy that one. So two more to go. 12,500 we need. We'll get there. Um, okay, so next we are going to head up here. Now, this is a, uh, a whole dungeon I've not gone into yet. So let's see what we can... Um, uh, we can... Uh, po poison. <laughs> very good route. Very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Yeah, basically. Same with equipment. The, all the weapons and armor, I will go out of my way to obtain one of everything. And I don't do that in every RPG. I don't do that in every video game. But there's something about the Souls games that I like to do that. I like to... Because particularly in these games, you have no inventory limit. I mean, you do technically with certain items, certain uh, consumables and things. Yeah, there you go. Neutralize and bolusters. You can hold up to 99 of those. And you can store up to 600 in your, uh, you know, your um, grace side chest. Uh, you know, I, I just like to collect things. Doesn't matter if I want to use them or not. Um, we shall see. But, uh, but yeah, equipment, I like to have one of everything. Just because, you know, you just have like an armory with you mix things up it doesn't matter if i just stick to using one particular kind of item or uh armor for a bit right got some chonky boy skeletons in this dungeon now to be fair i think we do i think oh my god oh damn he came back to us oh no i got him uh <laughs> Uh, we might be doing more damage to these skellies if I use, like, a... I, I assume they take more damage from bludgeoning attacks? Let's find out. Um, yeah, I guess we're switching our new mace there. I think that's our best uh, single-handed bludgeon weapon. I haven't really tried it out, but let's give it a go. If we're fighting skellies. I assume that they do take more damage from bludgeoning attacks. It would stand to reason, wouldn't it? The the rock miner guys do, so Yeah, to totally uh root. That's what it seems to be. It seems like um so apparently um Radagon the Red was the Related to Godfrey the First Elden Lord or something. I don't know if he's a son or something. And then he married uh, Queen uh, Renalia. Renala, sorry. Uh, 
of the uh, academy, and you know they said it's the uh, the joining of the uh, not the sun, but the joining of the uh, the tr the tree, the golden order, which is the you know, the Erd tree guys, and and the moon. The moon is the um, the symbol of uh, the academy, which is obviously you know, that's how the uh, the sorceries are. Uh, somewhat divided up, so to speak. Right, let's find out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, much, uh, much greater damage. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. But this mace just doesn't reach the ground. <laughs> Weird. Okay. No, it's just a bit just a bit awkward. What? God damn it. I oh, okay. Something weird's going on here. I can't seem to really finish off those skellies. Uh, ow. Is it because... I, I swear I did with the sword, didn't I? I'm a little bit confused here. I, I swear I was hitting it when it's on the floor. Yeah, it's damage is popping up there. Okay, so there's some other mechanic here that's uh that's playing a factor. Okay, this is a bit annoying. Okay, I'm not meaning to Oh, and this bros up in here. God damn it. <laughs> Not mean. Okay, that was just a mess. First death of the stream. Right. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. What? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, this skelly's not staying dead kind of threw me off there a little bit. So, either a couple of things. One, for some reason that mace just doesn't work to finish off those skellies. Seems unlikely. Um, obviously, I'll, the fact that I completely cocked that up, do double landing my shield didn't help. Um... Yeah, let's try, th try this first skelly here. With the mace. This will uh, answer our question, at least. No, okay, so it's not the mace. That's the factor. Um, these two skellies we bump into, something is... Stopping them from being finished off. So I need to press on and find out what that is. It might be like a necromancer. It could be... It could be anything really, couldn't it? Right, let's pop that in there. I don't know if that's going to help us. Probably not. Yeah, I've lost my steam, stone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, it didn't help them when you've got a little message on screen like that. You you lose con all like your face buttons. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Again, massive mess here. The problem is, um, well, there was, uh, in my mind, I'm like, okay, so here's two more skellies. You don't want to be fighting four skellies at the same time anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, um, what, uh, what is bringing them back? It obviously wasn't in that room, and there's treasure in that room. So maybe I should just run down and get that first off the bat, um. I feel there's probably a magic user or something further on in uh, to the dungeon that's going to stop them coming back. That is just making assumptions about uh, previous Souls games right there, but... It's uh, strange that do that one the rest are a big no-no but maybe they won't maybe it's just these two here of course the problem is um all right some kind of axe cool some kind of axe okay now i'm just gonna reset it because uh I don't need to go back in that room again. I I hope, I think, I would assume. Right, what is that picked up? It looked like a, a giant axe, didn't it? There we go. Rosas' axe. Oh, interesting. You need 18 intelligence to use it. And uh, scales on strength and intelligence. Usher of Death, Rosas, who shows the path to the catacombs throughout the lands between, is depicted on this ritual axe. The dead easily lose their way and have always been in sore need of a guiding hand. A unique skill, Rosas of Summons. Raise the axe aloft to summon those lost in death. Three skeletons will appear at a distance and attack in tandem before vanishing. Wow, okay. That's kind of fancy. Um, and it's just a one-handed axe. Oh, okay. Interesting. And it's not too heavy. Yeah, it's like a slightly chunkier battle axe. Um, but we don't really have the intelligence to use that. So let's not worry about that for now. Right, back to it. Right, okay, so I don't need to go in that room down there now. Uh, I think it, for the safety's sake, I do need to stay on top of these skellies, though, I think. It's annoying that they keep coming back, but... That's my own fault there. Just assumed the second one wasn't awake. God, I need some more hit points though. My uh, flask still <laughs> overheals massively, but one thing at a time, folks. That's the name of this game. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I should have gone into details about that at the start of the stream. Of course, this is going to be our final week of Elden Ring, where we are dedicated to the whole game um on thursday we are doing book two of the lone wolf series fire on the water with uh, legion cage um i expect that won't be far more involving than the first book so look forward to that guys if you like the taster we did uh last week book two is significantly better 
Um, I probably won't take us all stream, so I guess we'll do a bit of uh, Elden Ring at the end of that. Um, and then we'll finish the week on the Friday. Then from next week, we will continue Elden Ring, but we will do one stream per week, um, which, I mean, I'm hoping Cage will choose to uh, keep the Lone Wolf series going and we'll just do it every Thursday. Um, either way, I'll say that I'll, I'll probably do Elden Ring every Friday. And then it'll free us up Monday to Wednesday to move on to other things. Of course, on Thursday, it's also the 1st of December, where we'll have our draw for our raffle. Um, so we'll just probably do that before we start Lone Wolf with Cage. Make sure you get your any more raffle tickets in before then. There'll be a final call on that day. Um, and then, of course, uh, with our winners of the raffle, with our new producer or producers, plus uh, our uh, paying producers... We'll get a bunch more votes in. So, from a week today on Monday, we will be starting a new game, which could be who knows what by the time we get votes in uh, over the weekend. So, keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm loving Elden Ring, but at the rate things are going, we're going to need to, you know, we're just going to be an Elden Ring streamer for forever. So... <laughs> Like I say, um, definitely going to keep it going. But what I'll try and do is I'll try and play off stream as long as I don't do anything too important like any boss fights and just be sure to fill you guys in what I have done off stream. Um, yeah, there you go, Urchins. You can spend channel points to buy raffle tickets. Um, yeah, it could be anything. Now, I know and the producers know what's... whatever the, the, the official list is open for everybody to look at. There's a link down below. You can just click on that and see what's on the list. Um, only myself and the producers know which of those games currently have votes and how many votes. Um, so I've got a, a rough idea, uh, Red Mage, but um, we shall... Uh, obviously, with all the new votes that are going to come in over the weekend, who knows? It could be anything. Um yeah, <laughs> yeah, it could could be could be root. Yeah, if you uh, surgeons, I don't know if you care about our flexing leaderboards. It's very important to a lot of our uh, viewers. Um, they uh, if you get nine a mul any multiples of nine tickets and you don't win, you get a, a consolation prize of flexes on the leaderboard. So for our viewers, that that is their main most important use of channel points they uh it's, it's a win-win situation okay let's do this properly now So, of course, the problem is they come back too quickly for me to uh, really deal with them. Oh, here we go. This is the guy. Right, that's the guy I need to kill, I'll bet. I'll bet his little flame is what's uh, sustaining their uh, life force. So, uh, let me make a beeline for that guy and just try and murder him as quickly as possible. That's what we'll do. Um... Indeed, indeed, Ryan. I'm excited. There's exciting possibilities. I can say this. We've got one game that has two votes and two games that have a single vote at the minute. We also have producers that have leftover votes. And, of course, from the uh, 1st of December, we're going to have you know, all those producers, including the winners of the raffle, are going to be getting a load of votes themselves. So... Who knows what the uh, will be sat on top for us to start on Monday. Could be anything. Right, okay. Oh, what's he dropped? A mushroom. I like a skeleton. Add a mushroom with him. I don't know. I think uh, skeletons don't really get hungry. but Right, okay. I want to ignore these two. And find their little buddy as quickly as possible. 
Whoa, that looks dangerous. There he is. Oh my god. Not the best start today, folks. I know, I know where he is now. Um, um, okay, uh, Chinsel, yeah, I'll explain to you. So, so the, to win, the win, there's two prizes on the raffle. The first prize is you become a producer for a single month, and then we have the raffle every month. Um, second prize is an assistant producer. It's, Can I sit here? Uh, uh, Anzari. Ansari, thank you for the, uh, the, fo uh, oh, is it Anxari? You let me know. Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Um, so, um, second prize is assistant, um, and, uh, you can win both prizes, and if you do, you, they combine into an executive producer for the month, urchins. Um, those three tiers, executive, producer, and assistant, get different amounts of votes, um, there is a list, uh, and the producers and the executives can also add games to the list. You use your votes to vote on games on the list. You can put a single vote on a game, or you can put multiple votes on a game. Those votes remain forever, even if you, after you are no longer a producer. Um, they do not go anywhere until the game is covered on the, the channel. And I commit to play the games in order of votes. Um... So I hope that roughly explained it. The The list is public knowledge. If you look down on the panels, you'll find a link to it. Um, but the current voting situation is uh, private between myself and the producers. Um, but yeah, so I hope that explained it there, Urchins. But if you need any more clarification, you let me know, buddy. Here we go. Right, at least I know who the guy is, so I just walked the wrong freaking way, didn't I? Uh, so if I get around there super quick... Uh, ...and kill him, I should be able to deal with the, the skeletons without dying yet again. Hopefully. We'll see. Right, okay. Let's test this out, shall we? Oh! Look at that, they insta-die. Wow! She haven't even got a... I, th I just assumed it would remove their, um... Resurrection ability. Not that they would just fall down dead as soon as their conjurer... Uh, died. Um, Wiz, thank you for the uh, follow there, buddy. Um, excellent. So, it's up to you, Urchins. Um... If that is something you would like to take part in, uh, buy your raffle tickets. We'll do it live on stream. Um, of course, if you don't win, then you've, you've technically lost your points. But are they what are channel points? Do I have anything else exciting for you to spend them on? They're just kind of a bonus, aren't they? You know, the value is what it is. But yeah, that's... Um Quickly get over there. Oh, is he back already? Okay. So, seemingly these two are uh, ones that can just be eaten. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. I don't think there's even anything else in there. I just wanted to find out. Um, but yeah, it's um, and that's the, that's the thing, Urchins. There's a, there are people, there are regular viewers here who don't care what we do. You know, it might not even be like Seven, who's like not a fan of Elden Ring, um, but but she's not like bothered enough that she's not going to be here. Um, and there's other people who are like, "Oh, it's I'd love to see you play." Well, there's your opportunity. Um, now, of course, the uh, the producers are it's handled through the Patreon, um, so our regular producers pay for the privilege and to support me and support the channel. But the raffle is a way to take part in that process for absolutely free. So, I'll say free for channel points. This looks dangerous. Oh. Hmm. 
Now. If these guys are... These guys don't want to stay dead. Okay, I'll see. Okay, I don't know what that is. Spell proof liver or something? I need to find their necromancer, don't I? Got me down here then. Oh dear. Oh, oh geez, what the fuck? Right, okay, well, I can just roll right down there by the looks of it. Now, the only problem is if you've got some that are like stuck in a. Okay, we've got little crabs. <laughs> Where's he at? Where the fuck is he at? Whoa! We got big crabs. We got big crabs in here. Let's go to that rune arc. Oh, we got double big crabs. Oh my god, come on. Get out of here. God damn it. Uh oh, this might not work. Oh! Uh Holy hell. Um, geez Louise. Oh my god. Anyway. Let's take a moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Red Mage. He really was. He's back again. He's not giving up. It's because he's... Uh, he keeps coming back, I assume. To be fair, I didn't actually fight this one, did I? Okay. <laughs> I could have just killed that one. I'm running away from him. I'm terrified of him. I could have just killed him. Right, anyway. Okay, so, oh God, I don't know if I can even deal with the freaking crabs properly. I've yet to kill one of these big crabs. Sneak through. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, I don't, can't see where to go. Um, hey, bless you, urchins. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Root, yeah, you take go take Raven on a little adventure. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much for that, uh, Urchins. I appreciate that, buddy. Never necessary, but uh, greatly appreciated. Cannot. Oh, wait. These crabs giving, like... I thought they'd given decent uh, runes there, not 28. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like I must have missed something. That's what, like, down to, like, secret bloody walls, which are... Uh, Always a whole thing. Okay, I'm just gonna um, head back. Oh, it might be down there. I don't wanna. I'm, trying, I'm scared of that crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me check back up here with these two skellies. Um, I thought they. I would have thought, I'm, sure, I'm sure they didn't chase after me, honestly. The fact that they're, uh, they seem to be supported by, uh... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Ah, someone up above to the, uh, up there somewhere. Okay. Uh, oh my God, jeez Louise. I don't see Just to double check. Right, my life. Right, so the question is, how do I get up there to that guy? Which, I mean, he's just a skelly. He's not the, uh... He's not the bro we're looking for, but... The bro we're looking for might be right behind him. 
fucking secret door. I don't know. I might as well just press on for now, I think. We'll try to. There's got to be something down here. Uh, maybe, Ryan. I think you might not be uh, wrong, bro. I'm just, I'm scared. Basically. Okay, let's try and fight it, I guess. missed is what it was yes yeah, so it's uh size and shape is a bit awkward to get around him oof obviously uh stunning him's not gonna be a thing is it oh my god No! I'm all out of her uh, heels. I guess we're using more physic. There we go. Right, definitely all out of heels now. Fuck. Oh, seriously? Yo! Parrot! How you doing there, Parrot? <laughs> yeah that'd be nice wouldn't it uh <laughs> how you doing bro are you well how was your um how was your weekend was it good i hope you uh are you looking after yourself parent? there we go only 277 deaths were up to parrot so i'm not doing too badly uh <laughs> oh parrot this game it's uh it's uh never ending Right, okay, I've got a, a, a vague idea of what's going on, at least. Let's get back to it. I wonder, I wonder if crabs take more damage from uh, bludgeoning weapons. Maybe I should switch my sword in when I'm fighting that big boy. God damn it. I was having my wrong bloody flask on. My God, I'm like, oh, there's nothing in this. Oh, my life. That was um, that was a mindless death there. Never mind. Another one for the collection, eh? Um, yeah, I just, I did. I played a little bit off stream. Uh, apparently, nothing crazy because I didn't want really to do any anything big thing. But every um. Every area I go to, it's just, uh, it just, it just goes on and on. It's <laughs> your options of where to go at any given moment are just, uh, almost, uh, I don't say too much, but like I'll see something, I'll be like, oh, we're going to explore that. A week later, we've still not explored it.
So this is like a secret door in uh, one of these. I don't know. I feel like maybe we come back up around to that. Okay, so let's try and let's try and fight crabs. Eh? Um, let me pull out my uh, my main weapon, my sword. Give it more reach on it. I don't know. I think I might have done like less damage than the uh, mace though. Target the right bloody thing. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I don't want to get too close in case he does the double claw grab. Fucking oh, hell. Oh, his buddy's waking up. Ugh. Okay, his buddy doesn't want to come over him. His buddy does want to come over here. Okay. Oh dear. Um, I don't know. Is it part of somebody's quest? I don't know. We're just here, Parrot. Um, I've not spoken to Fear since the uh, beginning of the game. I guess maybe we should. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe magic is the way to go, Ryan. Yeah, maybe they're. Uh, a bit of weak to it. We shall see. I oh, just had that death on, right? Right. 
Right, uh, let's see how they do with uh, the magic hat. Uh, like little glint stones, I guess. Okay. Well, it'd be a decent amount of damage, considering. I don't know if I have to, enough to do both of them, though. Okay, that's one. And it dropped his eggs. <laughs> nice. Um, get a crab cracker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't even... I'm not supposed to be kind of... Kiting uh, this bi these big boys to... Um... Oh, dear. It's like smash that down or something, am I? Seems like... Surely not. Surely that's not what they're here to do. No. Oh, jeez. God damn it. I'm clearly missing something in this dungeon, aren't I? Because I don't think something's going to miraculously appear. Uh, by just by killing the two crabs, is it? Uh, no, but I could switch some in, Ryan. Um, that's probably what I should be doing about this point, honestly. Let me, let me switch in a, a unit of blue. Alright, okay. Let's try again. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> yeah, just to get him out of the way, just to confirm that if or not was even supposed to be down there. Seems very uh, very strange. Unless one unless the other crab specifically drops uh Drops like I don't know because that, that cage didn't even seem to be um like it was um there's an option to even attempt to unlock it or anything. Oh. Now he just fell in the wall there randomly, right? Yeah, we're not. Of the secret wall there. No, no. Right, okay, let's uh let's try again. Yeah, the magic seems somewhat effective, doesn't it? Coming out 
big stompy boy. Go get your other friend first. Ducked under that one. Get it out of there. Yeah, good, good call, uh, Ryan. That will uh, allow me to uh, magic up the second one. Assuming it doesn't kill me, of course. Get a bit of space now. God damn it. So, so aggressive. Okay. Okay, they like to drop their uh, eggs, though. That's good to know. Um. Oh. God, it's freaking controller. Please don't do that on me while we're in a freaking boss fight. Um. Excellent, very nice parrot. Yeah, I've I, I never played myself, but I hear very good uh, things about them. Now, that looks to be the switch to open the, uh, open up the boss, uh, door. And that switch looks like it probably relates to this cage here. So I need to get into that area, probably drop down from somewhere in the ceiling there. Okay. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I checked all these walls, didn't I, for potential secrets. Definitely did on the other side, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Okay, so we need to be one room up and one across in that direction there. So that's, really, that's the exit. So I'm wondering if the uh, the secret is not in this uh, annoying ass room here. time and a place to be sneezing yeah sorry if the, the quality is not good at the, yeah the quality's all dropped way off guys i do apologize <sighs> technical issue monday was it yeah it was monday two weeks ago wasn't it or mo last monday it seems that monday afternoon is the um not good connection time for the internet in my area And now we're back up again. It's leveled out. Oh my god, we're just going to keep going for now. Let's see how we go. 
this one in a second. Right. Oh, okay, excellent. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Uh, power. I'm a fan of that. Because lots of times you just like looking at the number and it's all, all the numbers are all just like, relative. You don't actually know uh, what anything means. Right, okay, so I had to put a stone uh, sword key there. So I assume it's not in there because I, I can't imagine they'd have um, a little dungeon like this where they insisted on you having a stone sword key to do it. They're usually there for extra stuff, um, in my experience. This is directly under that guy. I don't think I it could be. I didn't try that, did I? No, I'm a. I don't want to ride one of those up, have I? That would be, that would be insane. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah, fair enough, Ryan. <laughs> Which was like, it was fine now. It's that it's very frustrating to me when the connection is an out of shit again. As soon as I say that, what my life. So, um, it's one frust seemingly what my one frustration that uh, I have to deal with on a regular basis. I've not got the only thing that's coming to mind, which seems whack is those giant blades that are dropping down. I've got to, like, stand on one of those that is going back up to get up to the top there. Which we, is probably tricky enough anyway. But with, uh... There's three skellies in there trying to attack you. I don't know. Otherwise, I don't really have a clue. I feel like I've checked all the walls. There you go. I wasn't really expecting that to work, but I suppose I should. Get these. You know what else I should actually do? I should go and deal with the crabs, so I've not got to deal with them on the way back. Although, to be fair, actually, I might just have to run through and avoid them if I... Uh, don't worry about it. Who'd have thunk that? I was not expecting that to work. Oh. Get lined up, right? Oh, fuck. My life. But it did. So that's good. Um. <laughs> yeah, power. I, was, I don't know. Just, I guess you just gotta not make assumptions in a game like this, do you? Okay, yeah, that little uh, white mist stuff around them. You can tell they've got a necromancer somewhere. And here he is. Fuck. <sighs> We're making progress, at least. Yeah, red mage, if only. Oh, yeah, I'm looking down at the stream. It looks like garbled shit.
I think we're about to die again, aren't we? So sorry about this, guys. I'm so very sorry. And we're like about a good minute. 90 seconds behind as well, buffering. Fuck's sake. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Your connection is jank as well, Red Mage. I'm sorry to hear that. But if you're referring to the stream, it's all on my end. But if you're, if you're doubling up, <laughs> my, my internet is bad and yours is as well. That's a, that's a problem. God, yeah, it looks... I'm looking down here. It looks so terrible. Dropping frames all over the place. Oh. Oh. Get on there, bro. Slowly, slowly does it. Yeah, I've killed a few of these. Ooh, I, in fact, I think we've actually killed about four of these uh, cat dog statue things. Right. Okay. Uh, there's going to be any secrets. This might just be leading to where we need to go. Look about awkward little puzzle there. All right, okay, we've got a skelly there. Archer, of course. Okay, should just this one should just die. Or not just die. Oh, you know I me. There we go. Oh, and we've lost the stream again, haven't we? Are we still back? Guys, I don't even know if you can hear me at this point. Um... Um... We are, uh... We, it, we, it didn't kill the stream there, but it, um, God, I think we're like about five minutes behind now, Ryan. Not, okay, not quite that. Oh, bane of my existence. You can hear me. Okay. <laughs> my God, sorry about this. Okay, yeah, it's, it's all over the place today, Parrot. We've, we did like we were ten minutes into the stream where it lit, it cut out completely and didn't come back. We did just for a second there drop down to zero for not long enough to kill the stream, um, and now it's and now it's silky smooth again. Very frustrating. I, I do apologise. Um, oh, oh. Or is that to the boss? Is that to a boss? 
Is that the place you're supposed to drop down? Let's open up the other boss. We've got double bosses up in this dungeon. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Is that someone's summon sign there? Oh, D. All right, we'll call D in. Okay, looks like we've got a bit of a boss gun on here. Not the boss I thought it was going to be. Black Knife Assassin. That's... Right, scary guy. Doesn't want us to let me summon the wolves, though. Which uh, is fine. Well, with D's help, you may wreck him. I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, Black Knife Assassin, scary fellow. Uh, Assassin Cerulean Dagger, very nice. And uh, Black Knife Print. Okay, interesting. Uh, D, bro, what a bad man. What an absolute bad man helping us out there. Okay. Yeah, double boss dungeon, seemingly. Um, let's have a look at those items then. Oh, um, well, okay, were they spells? Are they spells? No, there was something. They were not, uh... They're not actually weapons, are they? Ah, okay. So the, uh, Assassin Cerulean Dagger is a talisman. Uh, critical hits restore your FP. Oh, okay. That's the first talisman we've got that can be leverage somewhat to restore your your uh, levels um okay and we'll confirm again now um yeah <laughs> that's it yeah it's literally his uh name right <laughs> yes. uh yeah assassin's dagger misshapen and stained in cerulean this charm is modelled after the darkly gleaming blades using the Knight of Black Knives. Oh my god. Uh, those who gave the demigods their first taste of death. Uh, um, yeah, I love the concept of it. Because, you know, we get crits fairly often. Um, we don't desperately need to restore FP, but it's a, it's an option for later. Um, but we dropped, it dropped something else, didn't it? I swear it was a, it looked like a weapon. I guess that looked like a weapon as well, didn't it? Or a spell. Ah, it wasn't an ash, was it? No. Hmm. 
No, okay. It did drop, drop two items, didn't it? I'm sure it did. Oh, wait, there we go. Black knife print. Uh, on the night of the black knife, someone stole a fragment of death from Malaketh, the black blade, and imbued its power into the assassin's daggers. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. The truth that shall not be revealed to us. Um, it's a key item. I guess we'll we just hang on to that. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Right. Um, yeah, no, that's two. That, I mean, with... I feel like it's summons that have carried us on both those wins, uh, Ryan. But <laughs> so be it. So hopefully, we drop down here. It's exactly where we want to be. We've also got a few runes to spend, I expect, now. 10k. That is literally perfect. Whoa! Little shit. Like there. I assume backstabs count as crits. So, that's... Uh You know, you see, you see what I'm saying? You can quite, not easily, but frequently get uh, crits in. So that could be useful. I'm just going to uh, run for it. Good thing about crab, giant crabs, or any crabs, they... Oh, life. They cannot climb ladders, but some crabs don't... No, no chisels were given. deaths in this dungeon but we uh we learn a lot and we also got a uh, a secret boss seemingly i think you're necessarily meant to find that guy but we'll find him we did um no no of course of course parrot yes it's someone shamers yeah it, uh, not that I agree with it, but I think there's a bit of that in Dark Souls, but the summons in that were other people. Although you've got NPCs, like where we summoned D there, rather than your actual Ash summons. But, um, I had heard of that. I think when, uh, Skyfer played through the game, he had people in his stream going, Bro! You're not using summons, are you, bro? And he's like, yeah, I am. That's, I'm using the mechanic in the game to, you know, play, play the game. No, bro! <laughs> It's like, oh my god! Imagine being uh, so mentally weak that that's a thing. I'm just going to. Oh my god! This is looking shitty again. I'm. Um, no worries, urchins. You uh, get out of there, buddy, and enjoy the rest of your uh, afternoon and evening. But yes, yeah, make love, not war. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to uh, just change our flasks back. Um, Until I start fully embracing the, the magical side of things, I think uh, it's better to uh, go for that. I'm going to... Okay. We've unlocked the door. I'm just going to... I did kill this guy earlier. But... Um, he gives you like 400 runes and he's a hard fight and, <laughs> and he only respawns as well. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get back up to here to Miriel. And uh, 
by that expensive uh, sorcery. Yeah, and it, you know, I can under here's the thing, Parrot. I can understand if you you like, you know, you're someone who's a, a very good gamer, better than me of video games. And you you know, you're, you're excited to play Elden Ring, you're playing it and you're like, you know what, this Elden Ring game is just it's just a little bit too easy. It's a little bit too easy. What what can I do to make it more of a challenge for me? Because it's too easy for me because I'm really amazing at it. Oh no, I'll just I won't use the summons. I'll just fight every boss solo. No no other players summoned in. No summons that are sat outside the boss fight intended for you to use them. And no ashes of war summon. Uh, not ash, ash, sacred ashes summons. I'm not using any summons at all. I'm just I'm, I'm gonna commit to myself to play the whole game like that. No summons. Because it's gonna make it more difficult. And it's gonna be more satisfying for me to complete the game like that. But it ain't like that, is it? Because uh, if it's like that, you wouldn't even mention it to anyone. You know, it's uh, people who are mentally and emotionally weak trying to put their own, you know, they're trying to get some uh, sense of uh, recognition from others by look at, look at this. And then they're trying to reinforce that by putting that same standard on other people. And it's like, well, you know, if you, you shouldn't even be looking for that anyway. You should be, I want to say perfectly, you, we should be mentally and emotionally strong enough that you're not looking to others for validation. Greetings. Do you need anything? Um, I, I kind of want to tickle you under the chin, uh, but <laughs> I guess that's he might that might be inappropriate. Uh, so there we go, the carrion greatsword. Uh, we may not even be able to use that on this playthrough, but uh, I want it for my collection. So there we go. So we just got one two and a half k one to come back for. Uh, we shall uh, do that later. I just wanted to get that bit. Although we probably would have been fine with the boss, wouldn't we? Because um, it's although obviously you, your runes drop on a boss, assuming you can get right back into the boss fight. There's no reason for you not to. It'd be very very unlucky to lose your runes on a boss. We might get enough runes from this boss to go and buy that other sorcerer. There. Oh, we're back down in the red, guys. Depressing. Um. Yeah, exactly, exactly, parrot. But I can't imagine it's. The, it's like uh, the other week when we related the uh, Platinum Rug. He was like, oh, yeah, oh, Elden Ring. He was like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can do that. Um, but I think he had like a, a sub uh, goal. And he said, guys, I'll, uh, I'll I'll play it for this stream if um, if uh, I get you know, the subs. And I think he did. So I think he is committed to playing it at some point. But he was like super nervous about it. Uh, and, I, and he asked me how I was going. I was like, yeah, it's super tough. We died loads. I'm finding it really difficult. And someone in this chat was like, Elden Ring's easy. And I'm like, <sighs> I was just like, okay, okay, for you, for you, this game is easy. That That's great. It's not, it's not a, it's not a fact of the universe that it's easy. It's just easy for you. Um, but then if you word it like that, oh, Elden Ring's easy for me, then you kind of just saying, hey, everybody, watch me for late myself. And it's like, okay, it's cool that you can do that, but nobody wants to watch you do it. Understand? Maybe people do, but that's what that's what OnlyFans is for, not Twitch. Uh, <laughs> you know, so that's why people say it is easy rather than I find it easy. But then that's just... That's just not true, is it? You know, I was... I don't know if that guy was... I don't, I don't know if how the guy made it. It wasn't, like, being... I don't think he was trying to be an ass, but... You notice how people do that. They don't go, oh, you're playing Elden Ring. Eh? Elden Ring's amazing. Good luck with that. They're like, lol, that game's easy. And you're like... Oh. I don't know if this person was one of uh, Platt's regulars or not, or what, but... It's, it's like, come on, bro. It's, it's it, that's what it all boils down to. It's looking for that validate external validation, because as you know, most people in society in the Western world, of all ages, 
uh, and all demographics are um, well real soft nowadays. And I don't just mean like physically, I mean, you know, mentally and spiritually. I feel like the human race is well weaker than we've ever been, and a lot of people don't recognise that. A lot of people are l like lean into it, uh, and how they. How they kind of uh, somewhat work to overcome their uh, weakness is to try and one-up other people uh, in various little ways, uh, and it's I don't know, it's not it's not uh, it's not appealing to me. Anyway, what we got in here? We have cemetery shades. Oh, with his little skeleton buddies. Oh, we. F oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, okay. We're, uh... We've got skellies every which way. Now, I've fought one of these before, but, uh, he, uh, did not have skellies with him. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I've got my wondrous physic on there. I have no idea. Okay, this is uh, this is a bit of a problem fight, isn't it? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I can. Okay, the, the skellies can be killed. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, I know what to do next time. I don't think there's infinite skellies. I think there's just uh, a set amount. Oh, balls. Partner, it was a uh, rancid fists. Uh, hello there. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, there is, uh, there is, I don't know if there's a genera uh, generational division at all, but uh, give me your opinion on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of good data there, Parrot, indeed. <laughs> Um here we go. Okay. Let's uh now I know what to, I know how to deal with the skellies. And let's make sure I've got the right bloody flask on. That'll that always helps. Here we go. I'll probably not want to um take a drink while I'm in the middle of a fight. It's probably uh not a, not a great idea. There we go. Let's do that after the fight. But yeah, we um, that's the problem, isn't it, Rancid? There's um, there is too much. There's far too much division. Um, but there's also much going on that it's uh. It's hard to address that. I don't know how we were doing that. I can't. I can't do it. I can't fix it. There's nothing I can do about. Anyway, we'll pop the wolves. Then hopefully we'll stay away from the the nasty guy, and we'll try and I'll try and run around and tidy up the skellies while the wolves are doing something. 
There we go. Because so we only recently got the uh, the wondrous physic. Uh, oh, fuck. I don't like being... Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what your thoughts on that are, uh, Rancid, but there's definitely... Obviously, you can't uh, discriminate by uh, by age, of course, and we shouldn't. But there it is a fact that obviously based on your age, you your developmental years were occurred in a time that was different in society. I grew up in the nineties. The nineties are way, way different from the twenty twenties. Way different. Uh in terms of what, what was around, uh what was available, what expectations there were on you, uh, and how society just generally functioned. Every And the access to information and technology. It's way, way different. By definition, all things being... Av all, thing all, all other things being equal, you're going to be a different person from that. Um, so while... Of course, you shouldn't make generalizations. There are recurring running themes. Um, there's like a thread that runs uh, through, say, all 20-year-olds. That they, being radically different people with different interests and uh, thing, you know, things they're into, they will have a, sim uh, a commonality, uh, a thread of... Uh, similarity running through them which i'm just completely unaware of and i lack um i feel uh i feel they've got it they got it tough in a way and in other ways they're completely clueless but <laughs> that is not like my own uh stepbrother jack is 19 and he's a he's a smart and capable young man um there's definitely not everyone of course but there are where there's more more of us by definition means there's more young people um young people need that external validation what i was just talking about more than older people i feel again i'm talking all things being equal i know plenty of old people who are mentally ill emotionally unstable desperate attention seekers so it's not an age thing i'm just talking all other things being equal um and uh especially with technology and social media youngsters are kind of almost preconditioned to you know they're after likes social media didn't exist when i was a kid there's no hunting likes there was no displaying yourself to the uh the rest of humanity uh you know and i feel you know if i share something on um social media on twitter and people or a youtube video or whatever and people don't like it or it gets completely ignored i don't care like if <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to me at all i'm like okay whatever i don't no no shizzles were given um whereas i feel maybe the youngsters they uh kind of they that's their outlet for that's their, what they seek for validation and if they don't get it whereas for me i'm like well I don't give, you know i've had much i've dealt with much worse in real life they've maybe not they're they've grown up they the internet existed before they were born and it's like to me that's such a radical concept that i don't know I think it, us as the older people, we should do our best to uh, look out for those youngsters, uh, educate them where we can and as they are willing to be, 
and just um just generally trying to help them out as we can but also you know don't if they're if they're wilding out put them in their place you know if they're misbehaving point this out to them but i don't know um yeah no exactly yeah of course of course rancid because we're all uh, you know we're all individuals aren't we we've all had different life experience but that um that thread of commonality um the generational gap is definitely a thing um but i don't know but yeah in terms of uh using oh get good i'm good at video games i'm better at video games than you i feel that that's uh i think that started with our generation well i don't know what generation you are uh, rancid if you're a similar age to me but um i feel in that regard the youngsters are less concerned about that um about being good at video games um because uh i don't know i feel there's while well, a lot of them are into video games um they're more into like the social media i feel like the the outlet for our gen my generation was the video games so it's generally like people are a little bit older not necessarily always but um but yeah it can be a thing but anyway rancid welcome in uh buddy if you've got any questions for me uh let me know my name is his name call me is everyone does um but yeah are you a fan of elden ring let me ask you that i should see uh i'm not the uh best at yeah yeah so i've got so yeah so you're a bit further up there rancid but yeah you um you're a little whippersnapper compared to me but <laughs> i say we don't judge you right this foul creature with its uh it's uh weird poison not poison attack paralysis attack there we go. All right, let's keep this one down. There we go. Okay, that's the... Uh... Right, I'm down to a single wolf, though. That's kind of a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, just got Wolf, she served me well. Now I've got to deal with this scum on my own. Let's, let's see what I can do. Ugh. Ugh. Let's not do that, eh? Right. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, more data. It is. It is a good game. I've enjoyed it. Are you a fan of the uh, Souls games as well, in general? Um, but, uh, yeah, actually, I'm not, I'm not uh, very good at it. Uh, yeah, he's a, gl he's a glass cannon. Part of me figures that I maybe should just maybe ignore the skellies. Uh, and just go for him because the skellies are tough ish themselves anyway ryan i don't know i don't know if you can because he's a humanoid i don't know if you can backstab him as well i don't know okay maybe i'll try uh maybe i'll try that for this run just uh try and go for him when he when he'll be uh less of a hassle because his uh his attention might be slightly divided why well, just run right by that guy, can't I? Re really? A bit unnecessary to. Uh... Or oh, having said that, my wolves might get distracted by him. Right. So, I'm probably concentrating on him. Is um. God damn it. 
is uh, the all the other bloody skellies around trying to have a piece, and the uh, the archer in the back there. I feel that um, I feel that I should kill the skellies first. I just need to be quicker about it and do it with a bit more skill. Maybe I should um, maybe I should switch to our mace again. Get the extra damage in there rather than use the sword. We'll see about that. Hey, Sea Star. How you doing, Sea Star? Are you well, my dear? Sea Star, my God, I loved your uh, artwork you did of, uh, you know, not only me, but I was included. I um, I love that. That's amazing. How you doing, my dear? How was your um? How was your uh, your uh, Thanksgiving? Is it good? Um, you got bored of it eventually, did you, Rancid? That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll say this. Even, um, even my friend's, uh, Parrot there and, uh, my friend Coptimus, um, who are, like, very into it, I, I still think they haven't completed it yet, basically. Just because it's so, like, overwhelmingly big. So I can understand if, uh, if you got bored of it. Um, even like the best of games, just playing the same game over and over again. Because you get, you know, you, you're looking at new areas, new dungeons, new bosses, but it's still like the same thing over and over again, isn't it? So I do, uh, I do understand that. Right, okay, we're going to... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, they're all coming after me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, how can I not like it, Sea Star? It's literally amazing. You're, uh, you're far better than... Uh, you're far more over 9,000 than I am. Uh, <laughs> you having a difficult day? Yeah, you take it easy. I yeah, I do. I had a good weekend overall. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry you're having a difficult day today, C Star. If there's anything I can do, you know, you just need to uh, let me know, and I will. Uh, I'll do my best to uh, to help with that. But, um, bless you, C Star. You, you hang in there, my dear. It can, um, if things are not going good, it just means that they can only get better. Right, okay. I just need to, I just need to have skill. That's all I need. There's not too much to ask, is it? I don't think I've I don't think I've got any runes to lose really, did I? So now at least I can forget about the runes. Um I wish uh, one thing I and it does this in Souls games as well, um or at least the Dark Souls trilogy. Even when you've died, even when you've dropped zero runes or zero souls, there's still the marker there to collect. Which obviously for your O C D gamer brain, you what you like wanna pick it up. <laughs> uh I, I kind of wish it just wasn't there. If it, if it's got one rune or soul or more, some amount, then fair enough. But if it's literally zero, just don't even put the marker there, yeah. Just just don't don't, don't put it there. <laughs> but, um, is that right? Is that right? Right. <laughs> Excellent. Um, oh bless you. Yeah, you, you d just uh, do take it slow. Rest your sea star. Well, it's not a, it's not a long way to go, is it? Or something? No, I can, I can forget about. Let's see this foulness. 
Just help this dark as shit in here. Oh, I should have tried dodging. Oh, that's it. Are we done? We're done. What's that? Was that eight, nine? Oh, we lost the stream again. Fuck my life. Sorry, guys. This is uh, frustrating me a little bit today. I need to uh, pay attention to... Yeah, it was. It was the right number. God, guys, we're like... The stream is literally a whole boss fight behind now. <sighs> Frustration. Sorry, I'm streaming in the future from you guys. I do apologise for that. And it's dropped down to zero again. Let's just try and get through this boss fight. Jeez Louise. Okay, yeah, let me turn my little lantern on so I can actually see a bit better in the uh in the dungeon. In the in the boss fight. Yeah, the, the picture quality is shit. There we go. Okay. I think he's after me though, isn't he? He is. The big boy's after me. Kind of. This is tricky. Of course, the longer I take, all of my uh, wolves are getting yeeted. Which I guess is the point, isn't it? the whole one here. Oh, mistimed greatly. How's it doing there? Yeah, so sort of like a... Yeah, fair, yeah, fair enough, Root. I appreciate that, that you don't mind, but I, I do. I don't want to talk to you guys from five minutes in the future. Um, I want to talk to you live, you know. Uh, I don't think I'm getting any real benefit out of this mace. If anything... Yes, it may do slightly more damage to the skellies. Um, but I'm lacking the actual reach. So I'm not going to... Um, I think we'll switch back to our sword, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... Oh, I'm looking down at the connection route. It just, the picture quality is... Barely there. Frustrating. I can't just end the stream on this without doing this boss. I'm just gonna we're just gonna leave it with jankness while I'm trying to get this boss done. At least. Can I put my uh? Yeah, okay, I think I should... I, I think I should die, but, um... Ryan's right. He's, uh, he takes so... His defence, all his hit points are so low that I should probably just do what I can to focus him. Um, not worry about the skelly so much. If I can avoid them. 
obviously it's, it's a whole uh, a bit of a cluster in there but let's try that um god yeah it's real bad now folks i'm so sorry <laughs> yeah, there you go, Root. You're replying to something I said five minutes ago. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, my dear. I appreciate it. Um, well, I mean, I say while I'm in the middle of this, I should. Uh, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I mean, I've already reset it once, Ryan. Could, you know, could try again, I guess. I just think the recording is fine. It's just, <laughs> the, the upload is... Uh, is not... Um, let me do this boss fight first. Or attempt, attempt to, at least. Alright. Right, land right, back on. Wolf to the ready. half dead so i've clearly got the right idea i only tanked him a few times it's just uh so much going on Yeah, it can't, uh, I'm hoping to like stun him, but I don't think I can stagger him. I might be able to backstab him, but it seems like I can't stagger him. Uh, or maybe he's, he can, but his threshold's pretty high. Yeah, I should have dodged there. Uh, I should have defense, not offense. But obviously, uh, time is of the essence. I don't even know if you guys can hear this at the minute. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, 
Oh, jumped right into his attack there. Oh, god damn it. My brother's probably using it, Root, and, uh, yeah, he's, he's a, he'll be either working or he'll be not working either way. I can't, uh, really interrupt his, uh, his, uh, connection there. That's the thing. If he was having issues, he would, uh, he would have sorted it out himself. So I can only assume that he, he is not, um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, some days are good, some days are bad. It just seems to be consistently on Mondays recently. Well, so the past two Mondays, it's been jank. Um, but, uh... Nah. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, indeed, Ryan. Let me just get through this regardless of what else what the connection is like. Yeah, I just want to... Get away for a second. Okay. Ah, yeah, it's little buddies. And really not helping me out. Yeah, I should be able to take him toe to toe. If it's just me and him, I should be able to like dodge his attacks and deal with him. But uh, when I'm getting tagged by his little buddies, that's setting me up for him to shank me up. Uh, <laughs> it's very, uh, very bleedy attacks. No, I don't think I was actually getting hit for the bleeding. It's just, but still, two things to worry about. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm in two minds about how I should be approaching this. Oh, that's unfortunate that missed. <laughs> okay, he, he is hitting me with the bloodlust, uh, bloodlust, blood loss as well. <clears throat> Part of me wants to, uh, take the uh, long route and try and tidy up his buddies. That's what's kind of really throwing me off if I I'll give it another couple of goes trying to focus him first. I feel that is the right way to go. It's just it's uh, not uh, it's not proving to be uh, too easy. Super stamps a bit of a problem. Oh, 
seriously. Even without the blood loss, it um The problem with um the problem with the wolves fighting the uh, skellies, of course, is uh the wolves uh don't finish them off, do they? I'm gonna try and take the skellies out. Yeah, see how they get knocked on the floor? The wolves, I don't think, are going to think to attack them because they're not like a, considered a viable target. So the wolves can kind of keep the skellies busy, but the wolves can't kill them. So unless I go out of my way to kill them, they're not going to stay dead. Um, thank you, Sphinx. How are you doing, Sphinx? Are you well? Thank you for hydration. I'll just, uh, I'll just give you a heads up, Sphinx. The, my connection today is really not good so you're gonna get i think we're about a five five a few minutes behind in the stream um and uh the picture quality is awful um when it's not just cutting out completely so i do apologize for that my dear i hope you're well how was your weekend please do, do tell me you're doing well Thank you. Right. I'm gonna. Do, I want to take. Try and take the skellies out. And I'm just gonna. You know. Just try and do it with something vaguely resembling attempt at skill. Um. It's obviously. Uh. Time is of the essence, essentially. But the more of them I take out, the more manageable the fight itself becomes. I'm just gonna try and run. Run, run, run. Oh, God damn it. I need to uh, avoid that, obviously. Yo, hey, Poison, how you doing, buddy? I hope you're well. I'll just say to you as well, as I said, you'll hear this five minutes after I say it. Uh, we've got a terrible connection today, buddy. Um, might even just call it quits in a minute, but uh, I ain't, we're just, I'm just going to try and force my way through this boss fight. Um, but uh, welcome in, friend. I hope you are well, Poison. Um... Yes, yeah, Sphinx is uh, over uh, over towards this way. So Sphinx uh, does not uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, but I hope you I hope you're all well. Thank you for coming into you know the uh, the stream today. It's not what it's supposed to be, but here we are. Before now. Okay, there we go. He uh, went for the wolves that time. Oh no! Seriously? Seriously? Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 To... Oh! <laughs> oh. Um. I mean, you can, you can poison. Oh look, he's always oh, dead, even when I died. Ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, you can if you want. Uh, it might take me a while to get through them all, obviously. Um. Hey, went to a concert. Very nice, Sphinx. 
and tidied up some uh, things to do. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was hectic and then it was relaxed and then, you know, I was hoping this we're going to be like back on an excellent stream today uh, again because of um, me getting my mic boom fixed, which was a problem uh, on Thursday, but so I couldn't stream on Thursday. And it is fixed now, and it was better than it was before, but... Um, and then, of course, we just come in Monday, first stream of the week, with jank internet connection. Um, yeah, I'm a whole... B poison, I'm a whole boss fight behind. <laughs> you you guys are seeing the last fight, I, my last attempt. <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit, a bit of an issue, but... Yeah, there's no reason uh, I can't do this. It's just um, it's just a bit, little bit of a tricky fight. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, go get that guy gone. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I've lost my... Done for. Done for. Presumably. Yeah, wolves are gone. I just want to get this guy out of here. Just give me a sec. There we go. No. No. Oh, my God. Right. That's up to uh, 300 there. Oh, thank you, Seastar. I appreciate that. Yeah, I feel like I do need to apologise, Sphinx, and I appreciate that you say that I don't, but my job as a professional streamer is to provide a good stream uh, frequently, on schedule, and of a good quality. That, unfortunately, does also include things that are out of my control. Um, it's not my fault, but it is my responsibility. Um, so I feel like I'm letting you guys down. Even though it's not my fault, it is my responsibility. Um, um. <laughs> Poison. It sounds, uh, it sounds like it's tough being a parent. I will say that I am... I'm pleased that it's not something I have to do. Uh, that I feel that's for other people. So... <laughs> Hopefully it'll pay off one day, uh, Poison. You'll be like, yeah, kids are great. You know, apart from when they wake you up and throw the stuff around. <laughs> they're really, they're really rather wonderful. Um, oh, okay. I'm also going to get what I would call a good attempt at it. I'm, uh, I'll be satisfied. I'm not, tr <laughs> not trying to fight that guy. <laughs> oh, he's... okay, we've got that one. Got that one. Uh oh. Got, right, okay, got one wolf and half a skelly. Okay, the wolf's dead. Okay, can I please just. 
There we go. Okay, it's me and him. Oh, that was uh, unfortunate. That was unfor doubly unfortunate. Um, let's see if I can, uh, do any of this. Oh, okay, of course we're out of magic. Of course, that's fine. There we go. Finally. You know, you will see the victory about five minutes from now. <laughs> Twin Sage Sorcerer Atchers. Excellent, okay. Awkward, awkward battle. And it is what it is. We got it done. That's what matters. Too, too many deaths on it, I feel, but... You know, that's testament to my excellent skills. <laughs> uh, connection's still not great. Oh, God, yeah, like, full two, three minutes behind. <laughs> I do. I'm so sorry. Okay, who's the twin sage sorcerer? Um... Wow. Okay, he's uh, he's like twice as expensive to call as the Glintstone Sorcerer. Uh, Spirit of Araya Lucaria Sorcerer wearing a stone crown. Those who study the Twin Sage uh, Conspectus are the Academy's elite, capable of mastering the Glintstone Comet Shard and Crystal Burst Sorceries. Both of those sound freaking amazing. Okay, let's uh, check that. We up in the green now. I only get another death route. Okay, freaking lovely. Nice, let's get out of this awful place. Um, yeah, there you go, poison. I can only imagine that. I know that if I had a child, I would, I would feel differently. I'm just on. If we're getting right down to brass tacks, so to speak, I'm just too cowardly to be a parent. Uh, not that I'm in a position where I've got, like, a significant other, you know, who's, uh, wanting to have a child with me. Um, but there's been times in the past where that, I have been presented with that as an option. Uh, and I've been like, no, absolutely not. Um. There you go. How, how old is he, Poison? Uh, that's the thing, because all that, all that stuff comes in time, doesn't it? But uh, as long as you're uh, doing your best by him, that's all that matters. But there you go, guys. We got there in the end. My God, the end being the <laughs> in the way of putting it right. Okay, let's go head over here and get our last um, little sorcery from uh, from our tortoise buddy. I think, and he suddenly is caught up with us, folks. My God. Okay. Okay, well, let's. Uh, Oh, has it? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Dice. Greetings. Do you need anything? Ew. It's not even loading up properly. Yeah, I think I might um do like a re restart. I don't know if that's going to work or help. Yeah, there you go, Poison. He's only three. So that's, you know, that's perfectly understandable. Um, ah, there is the great blade phalanx. There we go. I was going to say, I thought I'd already got the uh, we did, we had the glint blade, now we've got the great blade. Excellent, can't use either, but <laughs> that's not the point, is it? Um,
It's not looking too bad. Okay. Um. Oh! Moments of your time. Welcome in there, folks. How? It's going pretty well. So, I mean, just put us over here for a minute because uh, I was literally about... I'm sorry to do this, guys, but I'm about to take a break for a second. Let me just get over here a second. I'll talk to you. Let's say hello to you. Hello there. Um, we're also having some connection issues. So, I think I'm, uh, I'm a little bit behind or ahead of you guys. But anyway, a moment of your time. Let me get you uh, a shout out there. I assume you're playing Elden Ring, my friend. Uh, this is how you found us today. Can I sit here? Uh, of course you can. One second. Uh, beans machine. Uh, Freak Mojo. There you go. Like I say, I'm how far Can behind me. Not too, not too far. Okay. <laughs> I Irish poo hair. <laughs> how you doing there, folks? Welcome in. Uh, I won't give you the whole spiel. My name is Isney, but call me Is. Sorry if I seem a little bit frustrated at the minute. We're having a, some serious connection issues. Can I sit here? Um, of course you can. Um, thank you for the follows there, guys. Um, Momus, tell me about your Elden Ring journey. Are you good at the game? I am not. We are up to 300 deaths so far. Uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm a little bit uh, flustered, frustrated, just because... Uh, we had some real bad internet connection today. I was literally about to go and kill the stream and restart it up, but I feel like I shouldn't, as you've kindly uh, raided in there, my friend. Uh, but yeah, any questions, guys? I won't, I won't bombard you with uh, the spiel. I'm trying to sell myself to you. But yeah, we just uh, I just uh, was struggling a little bit with the boss there, but we got it done. Um, but yeah, how you doing? Uh, is this your first playthrough, uh, Momus? um how far through are you um uh k's non or case no uh welcome in my friend um yeah t tell me about your journey uh oh god i feel bad um which you're about to step out and take a break um but yes uh momus no need to hang around um no need to or any of your uh, your viewers no need to hang around at all i know you you got you've probably got to take care of post stream stuff your viewers probably um have uh other streams they want to go and check out so uh, you know you're all welcome um but uh no pressure to hang around um so you had a channel point redemption to delete a character Uh, so, Momus, I'm assuming you are, if not strictly an Elden Ring streamer, possibly primarily, uh, based on things like that, you were on the final boss, and you'd almost defeated them, and then someone redeemed for you to, eh, nah, nah, you can't have that. Delete the character. Uh, I respect that a lot. I... I'm struggling to get through. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> my God. My my friend. Um, yeah. How? I mean, I guess you set the channel point just up um, with that stipulation. So good on you for honouring it. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Um, no, I'm not... <laughs> Uh, uh Kaz, eh? Kaz, what do you prefer? Tell me. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not deleting the character at all anyway, but that deep, literally, you're, you look, got through the whole game, you're literally fighting the final boss. Yeah, wow. Not even, not even start a new character, literally delete that one. Everything you put into it, you got to get rid of it. Um, uh, Kaze, there we go, Kaze, X, uh, Kaz, no, Kaze, sorry, that's, that's what I said first, Kaze, perfect, um, that your third character, so I assume you are, some of your others, uh, Momus, were, uh, far more, um, uh, far more, uh, you know, not far, as far along, how far are we, 
Okay, I think the I think we've uh, caught up slightly. I'm probably a minute or so ahead of you still. Um, <laughs> Root, that sounds fantastic. Uh, yo, Scotty, how you doing there? Are you right there, bro? Are you at work in a minute? Uh, how's work going? DLC, we can play as Lady D. I'm not, I've not heard about that. Um, yeah, uh, it's not something that. Uh, uh, do it for the people, right? I don't know. I've not even heard of that. You're on lunch break, Sky. All right, guys. Uh, I think it's uh, my, assuming my connection's leveled out. But yes, thank you so much to uh, Momus there. I'll be sure to um, stop by and have a little look at your uh, channel at some point, my friend. But thank you for send, uh, trusting us with your raid and sending uh, your viewers over here. Uh, as I say, those of you who are, you know, you like uh, Momus's skilled Elden Ring gameplay. It's not what you're going to see here, folks. You're going to see me die a lot. Uh, <laughs> but you're more than welcome to hang around. And certainly no pressure to you, Momus, if you want to do post-stream stuff or any of your uh, uh, raiders who, you know, you want you some of the things you want to go do. Uh, but if you do want to hang around, you're more than welcome to. And if you've got any questions for me, let me know. Um, because in the meantime, we'll uh, get back to Elden Ring. I'll, I'll show you roughly where we're at. Uh, as you guys, no doubt, have far more context of the game than I do. Um... A journey eight as a new game plus eight bro and that's a so seven times through the game only took 120 hours and that's that's pretty insane though to lose that character um yeah <laughs> look root you've got to respect the dedication uh to uh to uh to moments there i mean um you're starting to resent it yeah um yeah, well, my friend, only you can determine what is best for your channel and your stream and your audience. I would not let these guys do that to me. <laughs> uh, not not even close. I, if they even suggested it, I'd be like, Oi! Sit down. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I, I do need to pee. Uh, um and i do need to make coffee but no i can put that off for another 20 minutes 30 minutes uh this is not really fair to uh the raiders coming in seeing that um but i'll um we'll uh we'll do a little bit of uh we'll do a little bit more elden ring i'll do so i'll head in a direction or something look at a thing yeah, let's get back over there there we go not three thousand deaths just 300 just <laughs> uh yeah exactly death to the channel i had that what redemption for a lot of points and i was like hang on a minute well, if i'm really enjoying the stream i'm not gonna i'm not not letting someone do that no worries momus i appreciate that raid my friend um and and the follow uh you uh you take care of yourself sort out your dinner and sort yourself out and enjoy yourself um but yeah i'll be interested to uh i'll go check out one of your vods later and uh get your vibe my friend um but thank you i do appreciate it um here we go so uh there we go so we got that fight done finally i really struggled with that honestly but uh nicely and seemingly our connection has uh leveled out we seem to be back it seems like you guys have caught up with me finally thank god for that right okay i'm gonna head over here and we want to head north checking out this area here yeah i want to get over to these buildings here these buildings here and this building here because i don't know what any of that stuff is so let's go do that um but yeah how's it going scotty how, how's um how was your thanksgiving and how is uh because i think i guess you only did three three do you, you get friday off three or four you done like a not a full week at work but you've had the um, the weekend to ruminate on it. So I wondered how you were uh, feeling about the whole thing so far. Um, right, okay, we're heading north then. Um, stay away from these mausoleum guys. So that one there and one down there seem to be like almost angry. They kind of like stomp around rather than the first one we saw is um, 
a little bit more kind of friendly. Not friendly, but he's just kind of like chilling a little bit. Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything over here. I've had a little look down there. Okay, so I don't know. We need to be heading up this way, I think. we can get up this way see what i mean look it's like boom so what are you doing bro what are you doing okay so we can't i thought that looked like we could head up that in that direction Unless we have to come around from this direction. So uh, this is where I started going, where the uh, the the, pl the madness, the s oh, we lost our sanity, and it just we just fell I just fell down dead, basically. Um, but I wonder if I have to when I get something to counter that. This is actually the entrance to this area. So uh, I'm not seeing a way up there. Yeah, I definitely went around there. Okay, let me uh. Just head over that minor erd tree and have a look at that. Interesting. Yay, Coptimus. How are you doing there, sir? Perfect, Scotty. That's that's all you can do in your... Uh... Oh, hello. Can I not? There we go. Oh, is that just one of the blue ones? I thought oh, it's a bit white there. Never mind. Um, I want to stay away from those guys. They're a bit annoying to fight. Um, yeah, that's all you can do in the first couple of weeks or even first couple of months of a new job, I feel. Just, uh, you're just there trying to not screw it up because it takes you a while to get used to the whole thing. Right, okay, we've got a tree avatar. Don't really want to tangle with that just at the minute. Um... I don't know if that one looks smaller than the other ones we've seen. Either way. I'll mark him for later. Okay, let me... Turn and head in this direction. It doesn't look like we can get up there. Which is uh, unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Okay. Right. Okay. In that case, um, I think, yeah, I think to get up here, we have to head around there, which seemingly we can't at the moment. Okay. I'm going to jump over here and just try and head north to maybe that ruin there and see how far up this road I can get before the uh, the madness sets in again. It's weird. It's like um, it's like your blood or your uh, poison meter, but it just suddenly appears out of nowhere and I was like, what is this? And then um, when it reaches the top, you just take a massive amount of damage and fall over. And it's like, ah, you've lost your sanity. I was like, what? Does that really make this? <laughs> of course, Box here, isn't he? Let's see if we can give him um, our new golden Bob needle. The seamster at your service, master. So if he wants that. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. No, he doesn't want it. So yeah, I've noticed he can uh, alter uh, the astrologer's robe. I don't understand what the benefit. So the benefit of uh, alteration, he's cutting bits off of it. He's uh, making it more lightweight, which is good, but lowering all the stats of them, which is not good. Going so soon? Yeah, sorry, Bog. 
Unless it balances out that it's actually worth doing. Like the the the, the loss in stats is minor relative to the uh, the bonus of the uh, the weight. I don't know. I do not know. No, no cop. I, I just seem to walk into an area. Just the north here. So we might you might see it again in a second. It just started happening. I was like, what? You see, at least as far as I could tell, unless there was something in the area that I could uh, remove or deal with. But um, how are you doing, Coptimus? Are you well, buddy? Let me see if there's anything on top of this. There probably isn't. Oh, I didn't need to climb up there. <laughs> uh, no, there's not. Okay. Okay, cool. We'll check this little ruin out here. Uh, thank you for the uh, luck there, Red Mage. Yo, Danny. How's it going, Danny? Um, that's a good question. I'm like 80 hours in or something, but uh, I don't think I think we've barely scratched the surface. We've cl cleared a lot of the map, but I don't think that really matters for much. But yes, how you doing, Danny? Um, uh, new chat colors. What's going? What's going on, Root? Oh, there's a thing. Okay, cool. Let's get this grace. That helps. Interesting. I didn't see a thing. I saw, I saw there was like plague rats cop. Um, that's I don't know what they seem to be unrelated to it though, but I could have been greatly greatly mistaken. Um, what do we have here? Is this going to be sacred here? Oh my god, wonderful. Let's uh, let's use that right away. There's no reason not to. Um. Oh, nice. Very nice, Danny. My God. Bro. Upgraded in there. That's what I need. <laughs> the, sh the stream today has been... J the connection has been jank. Uh, up until about the past 10 minutes or so, it started, like, leveling out a little bit. Which is nice. There we go. Use the sacred tier. Perfect. What's on there? That means the flask is, like, plus six now. Nice. Very nice. Um, okay, so we're heading down this way. Oh, he's just heading down to the shore line here. Because uh, this section here, I've not actually looked at at all. I just kind of assumed that um, we might be able to get to that from the lake bed. I don't know. Let's have a look, though, while we're here. Or maybe it's... Yeah, okay. Ah, okay. Well, I don't want to... Jump down there. Do <laughs> okay, we've got here a little camp. Oh, is that a trader? It is, isn't it? It's a little merchant. He's going to have more new stuff for us to buy that I don't have the rooms for. I don't want any trouble. Uh, Mojo, yes, it is. It is indeed my first playthrough. Um, yeah, Danny, it do be like that sometimes. You know, they did it, it's curious. They did it the same last Monday. So if you're going by days of the week, it seems Monday is my weak internet connection day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> could be, a, uh, could, could be. I'm sure it's just a random, but we shall see. Um, right. So what this guy got? It's not rune arcs. I'm not inclined to really buy those for four thousand runes. Um, immunizing white cured meat. Uh, temporarily boost immunity. It's expensive. Uh, and then he's got the, uh, okay, so that's poison, bleed, clarifying. I wonder if that's, um, stops the insanity thing. Um, bewitching branch. Right, okay, random shield. Can I Don't really you? need, but, um, can add it for, um, Kaze, thank you for following. Uh, we can add it for the collection. Uh, composite bow. Now that might be a nice choice for a bow. Can't really afford it at a minute. Uh, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number 13. 
And another random shield. Again, I think our brass shield is better than that. We've got no runes, so. though. Yeah. Be on your way, then. Oh, uh, <laughs> is that you done shopping? Get out of my shop. <laughs> uh, oh, Carl, say you a Gantwin fan? Yeah, all of uh, all of our um, all of our uh, emotes on this channel are grandier, uh, taken right from it. And that one is uh, my stupid face put on Gantwin's face. Uh, <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, the map is ridiculous. My God, yeah, Mojo. We've, I'll, sh I'll show you. We've been, uh, we're in a lot of places, and I don't know how much more we've got. So all of Limgrave, the peninsula, we've explored. That's not to say we've killed all the bosses. I've run around uh, Kalid to get the maps, but that place is scary. Um, and we're here just trying to get through the lakes. I've also discovered two entrances to the underground. Um, which we've not even looked at yet. Um, we randomly got teleported up there by a chest, so I assume there's a whole map up here, and who knows what else? I it's a, it's almost overwhelming, but you just have to kind of just pick a thing to do and just take everything one step at a time in terms of your exploration and just. And just slowly make your way through it, I guess, is the idea. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. But, yeah, new merchant and stuff I want. We've got no runes for. Never mind, though. Let's keep exploring. Okay, so we're heading down this way. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've killed, I think, one rune bear. Not the boss rune bear. We need to come back to him at some point. What's going on there? But uh oh these mi these miners. They are, aren't they? Oh wow, that's uh gonna get hit by those doing. Oh <laughs> Let's have a club to uh, fight these guys, but here we are. Seamless co-op mod. Is that you can play? Well, I'm I'm uh, playing on Xbox, so unfortunately there's no mods, uh, Danny, uh, for me. Um, but no, I've not even heard of that. So you can just, without summoning people in, you can just uh, just play the whole game co-op. That sounds pretty cool. I just found pretty cool. We, unfortunately, I don't have Game Pass at the minute, so our playthrough up until this point has been like completely solo. No, uh, no, no invaders. Or, uh, or jolly cooperation, unfortunately. But um, I would, uh, we sh we may, I may be getting Game Pass um, soonish, so our playthrough won't be complete uh, without having that uh, that feature there. But yeah, I've not heard of that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, fair enough, Mojo. That's the thing. When I see them, when I see a rune bear, I'm like. Oh, actually, I think we killed two. We did kill... No, you've killed two of the wandering rune bears. One of them was cheesed a little bit. So we, it stuffed us in a a little uh, ruin entranceway. So I kind of just <laughs> poked at it through the door. Um, and I think the other one, we kind of... We were on horseback as we were fighting it, which m made it a little easier. Um, but the horseback combat can be a little... Um, 
sometimes it can be tricky. Sometimes uh, it depends on what you're fighting. Sometimes it, I feel uh, it's good. Sometimes it works against you. Um, but room bears are freaking scary. But yeah, the 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 proper boss one, we still um, we still need to go back and fight because at the time I utterly destroyed me. We have leveled up a little bit since then, uh, and things have got a bit better, but not uh, not massively. Um, this bro, I've, uh, I think he's like the guy who puts magic on his sword. There's no need to fight him. It's not really going to be worth it. Okay, and we've got land up. I thought it was like land octopuses then. It's not, is it? It's the, um, it's giant squirts. Okay. Let's fucking avoid them. But yeah, that sounds, uh, that sounds pretty freaking cool, Danny. Uh, playing co op. Like, seem, like you say, seamlessly. So I know people have played the, some of the Souls games co op, but they're like, have to constantly, um,. You have to play, basically play each area twice. Once for you and once for your cold buddy. And uh, and then you're constantly like having to summon each other into each other's worlds. So it seems like an absolute pain. Well, this looks good. Got a little uh, golden seed here. Nice. And some lilies. Cool. Oh, oh, we got bats. Oh, my God. I'd say I hate the bats, but honestly, <laughs> I like, I mean, I hate every enemy in the game, which I think is the point. Um, yeah, oh, you, you, when you say you cheated, Mojo, I, f I feel if you're just going for the achievement specifically, I don't think these, I don't, I don't feel you can cheat, um, when you're achievement hunting, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that, yeah, I've sort of, I've seen, I think I've seen two, what seem to be two main dragons just randomly wandering around, but then I saw a bunch of, like, fractionally smaller dragons and I was like oh my god they're not and there's like a bunch of them just hanging around I was like they're not they're not even mini bosses are they they're just they're just dragons just hanging around here so let me get away from those I'm just trying to see where we are on the freaking map now because uh I don't know I don't know where we've ended up there we go oh, okay we're all the way down here yeah, that's not actually a bad thing because I kind of wanted to get down here at some point. Um, so that's clearly going to be like a little uh, cave or something. Interesting. I wonder if we can get up there from here. Or if we have to go around. It doesn't really matter. We might be able to get across there from here. Not really important. We still need to try and explore up here, but let's, uh, let's head into this cave. We'll try to. Yeah, it would definitely make yeah yeah make you easier to uh, connect to, and it would definitely make the game easier. But I don't know. The, to me, the game is uh, tough anyway. I don't. Uh, you know, it's not competition, is it? <laughs> it? It would be a lot of fun. I don't doubt. Um, Oh, okay, Mojo. Oh, yeah, okay, so there's three different endings and there's a separate achievement for each. So you would need to do three playthroughs or at least do, you know, New Game Plus twice. And you were just like, that's it. I don't, I'm not playing through the whole game again twice. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't see a problem with that, Mojo. Personally, some people might say that's cheating, but in terms of achievement hunting, I used to be a fairly, you know, hardcore achievement hunter a couple of years ago. I, uh, that's, that's clever. That's smart. That's what you should be doing. Um, thank God. Got some grace. Right, I'm about to spring a leak, guys, and it is, uh, it's time for our midstream break. 
I can't tell what this connection is doing here, folks. Um, yeah, it's, it's better than it was. So I'm going to step out for three minutes and sort myself out. And then hopefully we'll come back. We've still got another three hours. And hopefully we can have a decent amount of stream. And um, we'll get some more decent progress in Elden Ring one way or another. <laughs> um, yeah, 100%. I think we're up to like maybe 80 hours or so. And I don't think we're even like 20% of the way through the game. I don't really know. I feel like we've explored a lot but in terms of like the big bosses. We've only fought, we've only defeated like one big boss. Eventually, after I exhaust our current spate of exploration, we may be going to the academy, which I feel that's kind of the game kind of suggests that the way you should go for maybe the second main boss. Um, so that might be happening not today, I don't expect, but we might be getting to that tomorrow. I don't know. I can't even speculate uh, how far through we are. But yeah, exactly, uh, Mojo. Get you got a backlog. You loved Elden Ring. But you got your achievements. Now it's on to the next game to get your achievements. I I, I totally get that. Um, what um, are you uh, sort of Steam achievements, Mojo, or uh, PlayStation trophies or Xbox achievements? Just out of interest. Uh, Slight of game. How you doing, sir? Slight. It was so lovely to uh, speak to you yesterday, buddy. It's been uh, too long. Um, it's fine for you now, I think. So I'm so pleased about that. Thank God for that. But uh, yeah, I know you're just coming there. Slight. I'm just taking a three minute break. So bear with. I'll be as quick as I can, guys. Um, but yeah, no uh, Steam achievements. Yeah, I respect that, Mojo. Um, Steam is, you know, if you've got a good PC, it's the best platform, isn't it? Re you know, speaking realistically. <laughs> but uh, I'll be uh, back shortly, guys. Bear with.
Right, sorry to keep you waiting there. Um, oh my god, Sekiro. Mind you, I'm so bad at it. I couldn't get into it. But yeah, Scotty's already gone, I expect. See you later, Scotty. Hope you have a good day at work. Thank you, Sphinx. I appreciate that. Right. Let's see where we're at. Where are we on that? To right. We're next to this little hole. Um, going up. Seems like it, doesn't it? Just a little hunt around. Okay. So we're going up into a mine, maybe. Curious. Yeah, it seems like it, maybe. Right, okay, I'm not really seeing anything else around here, so I feel that must be where we're supposed to be going. Especially as it's right next to... Uh, the ladder there. What about around this way? Okay, so this is just, uh... Yeah, there's definitely stuff over here. Oh, hello! Nice! Barbaric war. Ash of war. Oh, whoa! Whoa, okay. The, uh, the bats are not happy about that. wonder if they're going to chase us over here. They might, to be fair. No? They're going back home. Okay, cool. New ash of war. So, yeah, we've got bar barbaric war. Well, rather, we've... um. We've, we've had it on a couple of our weapons, like our clubs, and used it. Um, but now we've got it to put on other weapons, if we so choose. Um, I think it just gives you a slight, a, a very short uh, attack buff. It's still better than nothing. What is... Oh, it's just a land uh, octopus. Okay. Little ones are very easy to kill. The big ones. I don't think I've killed uh, one the whole uh, game yet. Scary as all hell. In my opinion. Although, having said that, I don't... Th Actually, yeah, one has killed me when I was, it was in a little room with some treasure. <laughs> right, okay. Hello, hello, hello. This is... Uh, some shiny green crystals in here. Okay, I'm, um... Now, if it's just miners, I should probably switch to a club. Okay, got a rank for Smith and Stone. Uh, if there's soldiers in here, I'm obviously, uh... I've got one of those to sell. I don't know what it's worth. Um... Cool, yeah, I do want to use more mace, don't I? Actually, a fairly good find. Oh. Just, uh, power through it. It's not, it's not how you do it with finesse. Right, another rank four smith and stone. Okay, let's sort of going up here. Oh, do they? I didn't even notice that, Mojo. My God, yeah. Unless we've got to fight one for a boss. I, I can see myself going the whole game without killing a, an adult land octopus. <laughs> okay, this looks... Equal parts sus and cool. Just 
too quiet though, isn't it? It's far too quiet. Yeah, we go. Who are you? Look at you. <laughs> Funny little fella. I think I've I've seen those guys before. They um appear out of nowhere in the forests and kind of trying to ambush you. Okay, there's another one. Yeah, you, you can't see them in the uh, uh isn't two over there. Okay. Okay, I'll see. And stuff over there. Oh. There we go. They like to use that little smoke attack there to uh Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Okay, getting it done. Not the prettiest, but Oh! Oh, well, that was stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't think I've got a... Uh, I don't think I've got any... Oh, did I get a neutralizing bolus? I don't... No, I don't think I have. I think I've run it. Oh, I have. Excellent. Cool. There we go. Okay. Let's do... Um, let's do a spell heal. Save our flask a little bit. Oh, fuck my life. What a waste. Assholes. <laughs> I don't think I've got any... Uh, I think to craft those, you need the dragonfly uh, head. Which I don't have any more of those left. I think I used them all. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, they eat their own tentacles. So do they have a, a limit on how how much they can heal, my Joe? Yeah, yes, it's equal parts sus and cool. This is entire game. <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit like that, isn't it? Okay, let's head down. Oh, up. Or down up. Okay. Oh, I see a shiny down there we need to get. Now that is quite a long way. We'll get the shiny first. quite a long way isn't it oh uh, tier five for smith and stone nice uh okay so i sh assume i can get back down here right okay yeah if we'll go this way okay cool you um they're not too high fly off here maybe i'm gonna jump over that way at first that's good to go Oh, lucky. I might have been too far if we'd uh, if I dropped that extra, hadn't tagged that little bit there. Now, when you see more miners, so okay, I can hear more miners, so. If you stay away from them while they're mining, they usually uh, don't go for you. But obviously, it's probably going to be my best interest to uh, to kill them. It's only going to attract his buddies. There we go. 
They're uh, they're not dangerous if you really if you fight them one at a time. Oh, I'll say that you see as he's uh, about to wind up his uh, flamethrower there. God, I'm so squishy. Cool, tier five golden moon. Tier four smith and stone. Yeah, nice, uh, nice look of the, the cave, definitely. Let's have a little look this way. Little ambushy little buckets. Let's back up. Vulgar militia armor. I think I might have got the uh the greaves for that. I don't know. Is that there? I'm worn by the lean, mean, and filthy militia men. I don't know if you want to put it on then, but <laughs> uh, freshly singed battlegrounds, effusing with the stench of the dead. Forbidden lands that will be exercised from the memory of history. This is where the vulgar militia serve as untiring, unsung watchkeepers. No thanks. Okay, so it's um, it's got some good uh, resistances and uh, lightning and holy, but overall, I think we're just going to stick with our knight's armor for now. Well, it's another one for the collection. Uh, okay. Where were we? Oh wait, I was going to um. Do I heal there? there I just desperately need more vigor on the seat. Oh my. Fuck my life. I should be able to see those on the floor, but maybe I'll. I don't know. Well, I'm just going to have to try and heal through this, basically. Which is uh, unfortunate. amount of heals to deal with it. <laughs> Guess we'll find out, won't we? Whoa! Little buddy came out as well. Oh my god. It's my fault, that, isn't it? Two little buddies. Okay. Okay. Torments hit there, but oh, that's unfortunate. God damn it. Um, I wonder if there's a place you can farm the uh. The dragonfly head successfully. I don't know. Don't know. At least we can get the items this time through. Nothing else. Somber Smith in Stone Tier 4. Nice. Very nice. I need to start upgrading some more weapons at some point. Uh, not liking the numbers though. Ooh, a 
we're dropping right down. Yeah, we've lost it again, folks. Upon my life. Ah, Arunark. Basically all out of heels now. I say basically we, we are. Uh, <laughs> but we'll know for next time when we're coming through. Um, so we'll have to run away in a moment. But at least we got all the items up to this point. Oh. Hello. Of Smith and Stone 4. Yeah, some of them explode, as you saw there. If you several times I've uh, been caught by that. Ruin strewn precipice. Oh, that could not have been timed any better there. Alright, summoning pool. Nice. Thank God for the grace. For the grace of God. Um, right, okay, so it's its own little dungeon, I guess. We are... Well, I mean, we're outside again, aren't we? We're just, like, higher up. I guess. We're heading up there. I don't know. I guess we should. Just, like, everywhere in this game, we should, I guess we should go there. There's no reason not to, is there? <laughs> right, let's have a rest. What you got for me, buddy? Soft cotton. Yeah, I don't think it'll uh, help for jumping down there, will it? <laughs> It's very random. I assume it only takes the edge off. It doesn't like make you invincible from fall damage, does it? Invincible to fall damage, you know what I'm saying. So, I'm fairly happy with that. Oh, this is very interesting. I like the vibe again. Right, there's some more bats. Oh, too many bats, maybe. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oops. Brutal. Everyone. Um, it's sketchy up here. Yeah, I, it, I was uh, lulled into a, a full sense of uh, security there, uh, cop. Mm. Yeah, probably, probably Danny. Yeah. <laughs> uh,. Agreed, Ryan. Agreed. I know um, there's a few of our regulars who are just not, you know, not really feeling the whole uh, Elden Ring thing. That's perfect, fine. But um, I uh, just like the, just the world and just looking around at all the interesting, crazy things in it. 
I feel is um it's pretty cool. Yeah, baby bats are cool. Big, you know, giant, bloodthirsty bats trying to murder you. Oh, not so much. <laughs> okay. You little... Sh yeah, this is sketchy, cop. That little shit trying to... Uh Trying to push me off the platform there. Okay. This is not what I'm dealing with. I've got f four bats to deal with. And the first two, assumingly I can, if I'm clever about it, I can take out right away. Yeah, I'll see what he's doing. Oh my god. Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he wasn't. Um, I felt like he was backing off there to get me to chase him. But I think he was just backing off to fake me out there a little bit. <laughs> uh, never mind. That's only the 300 and second death. It's, yeah, no big deal. Yeah, I think that first little guy, I'm better off doing a uh, a power attack on rather than uh, going for the backstab. I think we've got too many. We've not got too many runes that we could potentially lose enough, have we? I think. But still, we're so far under. I believe. I feel like we're under leveled. So. I do need all the runes we can get. And I've got a metric shizzle ton of stuff to buy still. There we go. I didn't take two hits with this sword, which is good, but they're flapping around like that. I'm good. I wonder if you, what a, um, a full-blown uh, sorcery mage character would uh, play like. You know, you don't, you don't got to be in rain. You can just uh, you know, shoot your magics at whatever. Flying doesn't help them. Wow, this is this game, this um, this game that keeps giving, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Rank three Somber Smith in stone. Oh la di da. Fair enough, uh, Mojo. I respect it. Some people are a little bit like, oh, no, just get good, don't grind. I've, I remember grinding in the Dark Souls games a little bit. Get a few levels under your belt. And I'll tell you what, Mojo, I would have done it on this game, but I feel that most of the enemies give you a, sh a shitty amount of XP or runes um, to the point where I'm like, I've not come across a single spot yet where I've gone, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, this is a good, this would be a good place to grind. I've yet to find it. Um, so, you know, if I do, if I do find a good spot, especially being under leveled, we don't need very many runes to level up and buy the items I want to get. Um, so, uh, I'm just waiting. No, I don't want to click that. Uh, I'm just waiting for that one spot that uh, we can. Uh, I've just not come across it yet. <laughs> 
And that's one thing I'll notice compared to the Dark Souls trilogy. Uh, the levels seem to be the same, but the number of... The amount of XP you need per level. But the enemies in uh, Elden Ring give you such a massively reduced amount of uh, XP than they would in uh, any of the Souls games. It kind of... Um, it just, which is not necessarily a problem. It just means that each and every, uh, each and every uh, level, an item, an amount of rooms you get is just that much more valuable, I guess. Um, and it's just that even more painful when you lose them. <laughs> it's it's less to lose, but they're so hard to come by. Here we go. Nice, we're getting a lot of materials up in here. I should probably start doing something with them, shouldn't I? <laughs> that would probably be a good, good thing to do. Uh, all things in good time. Um, Yeah, yeah, cop. Just use a glint, your glintstone sorcerers and everything. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah, that's, in, that's interesting, Mojo. A lot of people um, came to Elden Ring because they were like, oh, you know, they've played all of the other Souls games. They're excited about it. And a lot of people came to Elden Ring because they never played the Souls game. I feel, if I'm honest, Elden Ring is Dark Souls 4. But FromSoft did a very clever thing by not net calling it Dark Souls 4, by not marketing it as Dark Souls 4. Um, they're like, oh, Elden Ring. Uh, and it's open world. And I think they... I think, they, I, think I don't know if it's their best-selling game. I think it might be. But I think they did very well for themselves with Elden Ring. And I don't blame them because... Um, they've got like a brand new you know uh fan base for the games they got loads of people to try it out which they might not have if it was just called dark souls 4. god we're heading all the way up there this is cool oh my god is that one of those little guys oh we've got a freaking singing bat up in here which have a lovely they have amazing singing voices but okay we've got bats but they are uh, scum you can't have a, just because you've got a nice singing voice doesn't mean you're not a scum. <laughs> Damn, nice golden runes. Yeah, lovely voice, but um, I can't. You know, I can't. <laughs> I can't let you off just because you've got a nice singing voice. <laughs> Above us? I'm not sure exactly. Somewhere in this direction. I'll set up on that platform there. Okay, if I can get that guy down first, that would help. They kind of fight, they're a bit larger and they fight similarly, but they do have more uh, hit points. I think it has like a poison attack as well, which as you know, poison's a bit of an issue for me at the minute. Well, I could def I could actually gear one of my spells to cure us of poison. I'm, just, I'm an idiot. That's why I've not done that. Yeah, can I get these ones down? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Oh, it fell down. Okay, I should have been on it, shouldn't I? Never mind. Okay, at least the looks of... Oh, where did you come from? No, 
Okay. I was hoping to say uh, at least I could fight their mum on their on her own, but. There we go. Let's go to town. Golden Rune 6. Oh my god. We're getting all sorts of treasures up in here. Smith and Stones 4. My god. My pro well, the reason I haven't... Oh, okay, there we go. I'll see you there. The reason I haven't upgraded anything yet is just because I'm just super nervous about like committing to anything. But I know we've got so many smithing stones. I'm guessing nothing is lost, is it? Um, but, uh, you yeah, know, we're doing all right. We're, we're, we're fudging our way through it regardless. No, yeah, if I can fight one enemy at a time throughout the whole game, cop, I will, I will do it. Yeah, Ryan, we really are. We really are. So, uh, this particular sword I'm using requires um, sombre smithing stones. That was the more of the issue. Of course, I could just like switch in the claymore and then upgrade that or something. But I think we're doing all right for actual smithing stones now. Um, okay, yeah, so we've gone see. Yeah, look. These are all our basic ones there. So, as you can see, we've got a lot less of the sombre. But the, the first two tiers of the normal smithing stones, I could be running around the, a, a claymore plus six without even like cutting into our uh, supplies, you know. Okay, land octopus. Oh. Okay, we've got another singer. One thing at a time. Wow, I've actually managed to come this far without taking any damage. That's shocking. There we go, coffee out of the way. Two and a half hours, let's do it. God, my... Oh! Yeah, this place is sketchy, cop. Spotting anything on the, these super narrow ledges. Yeah. It's, is it Latin, uh, Ron? It sounds like the same kind of sound, isn't it? But if it is actually Latin, I do wonder what it translates as. It's a... Oh, you little bats. You are so wonderful and lovely. Let's hope that no awful tarnished comes along today and wrecks you. <laughs> and then I'll just come along and kill him. <laughs> okay, land octopus. Can't tell if that's a bat on the ledge there. Is that a bat hanging up there? I can't really see. Okay, let's head around this way first. Oh, there's stuff over there and large land octopus. <sighs> That's not going to end well. God damn it. I feel like there's gonna there's gotta be something up there, isn't there? And I feel this is not the way to go, but this is the way to get the treasure. It sketches all bloody hell. I won't be able to do this. Just <laughs> the vertigo. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a have a phobia of heights, but um, 
I would definitely like. If, I'm not like a fan of them. <sighs> Clearly, there's something over there, isn't there? Okay. Let's see if we can tidy up the little ones first. Might run up as soon as I aggro. I might just run back and try to assess the situation a little bit. It's got to be... Yeah, there we go. Look, it's those little two little ones there. I've got an item between them. So if that's all it is, I if I tidy up the little ones, I could potentially run in there, grab it, and sh shoot right back out of there. Um, yeah, ex <laughs> exactly, cop. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just a weirdo. Uh, I'm not too worried about the normal smithing stones, but if I go and upgrade this uh, sword that we've got at the minute... Um, my problem will be, uh, I'll, um, oh, okay, here we go, got a big one on us, maybe. You see what they, the awful thing does? It's like... Okay. Okay, here we go. Smith and Stone of some kind. Oh, Serpent God's Curved Sword. It's the Serpent God. The Serpent God. Uh, okay, that, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But for now, let me cry in the corner. drop a unique item I think it's more likely not to do anything okay see you later buddy oh I know I've just killed your children and ran away but some people be doing that right well, let's look at this a serpent god's curved sword wow oh wow look at that curved sword fashioned the image of an ancient serpent deity and tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gelmir. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores hit points upon slaying an enemy. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, spinning slash is a special ability. Um, how does it compare? Um, okay, it's... Uh, okay, it's scaling is nowhere near as good as the uh, Bloodhound Fang. Uh, and its overall damage is not great. Ah, okay, yeah, but it's a one-handed sword. Okay, cool. So it's actually our, probably our best... Maybe our best one-handed sword. Okay, I'm glad we've got it. It's an option. I'm glad we don't have to go back up there. Now, let's try and deal with this mess or whatever's going on here. All right, so we've got two little... Okay, there she is, singing. All right, okay. Okay, let's get that. Let's go on this way. Oh, is there, there might be two of them. Can't tell. I wonder if the octopus is like the singing as well. Another rune arc. Nice. Oh. And that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, poison. <laughs> yes. Golden Moon 6, my god. I'm 
I just can't get poisoned a second time, can I? <laughs> just got, you just got to keep an eye on it. And it does seem that different poisons uh, have different strengths, so to speak. I don't know, I can uh, sneak up on her. Oh, she's the boss one. Doesn't matter. You're out of here. Oh, damn. We got a nice amount of runes. Another rank six gold rune. Nice. What sorts of cool stuff we're getting around here? More smithing stones. Well, I'm glad, to, I'm glad we head up here. Um. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. What even is that? Okay, that's the gate down there. Yeah, I've not been there yet. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we're heading up here then. Look at that, Sight of Grace. That was very, considering how sketchy that was, I feel like I didn't do too badly. Oh, oh and we're walking into a boss fight. Okay. Did it, cop? All right, fair enough. I, I'm, I'm shocked if I can uh, even equal you at anything. Yeah, I. Ch you know what, cop? I, <laughs> I was uh, rocking the poison cure spell until the other day when you said, "Eh, poison's not that often." <laughs> but I feel I should, uh, I should stick it in. Let's take out the basic heal. Cause it, that's not make or break, is it? I'm putting the actual uh, poison. Um. Right before we head into the boss fight just in case I want to go spend our runes I could get a level up but you know what I'm like let me find a what merchants or something to buy stuff from I think this guy down here still has got stuff for us and then we'll try that boss wherever that is uh, as I was saying before uh, earlier in today's stream it shouldn't be an issue if you go into a boss fight with any amount of runes and you die you should be able to get into that boss fight and grab those runes before you, uh, before, you know, and without losing them. I've done it before in Dark Souls and I probably would do it in, in this. Uh, so I'd rather spend them just in case. Um, yeah, so I, I've used them all up. Um, cop, basically. <laughs> uh... I had a few, and I've used them all up, and I don't have the materials to craft any more. Uh, right, so what did this guy have that I wanted? Oh, okay, he didn't actually have anything. Okay, I've bought everything I wanted from that guy. Oh, although, actually, I know we've got what, at least one crappy item to sell here, buddy. At least one. That might actually be it. Um... Yeah, it's in our weapons, isn't it? It's that little, uh, one of those. There we go. I think, I don't think we've got any duplicates or anything else at the minute. Okay. Uh, what other merchants have we got around? Uh, I think it's any more on the peninsula. Oh yeah, do you know that? This person here, the uh, Sorcerer Selen. She was, like, bound to the wall, and she was like, Oh, you be tortured me. Free me. And I couldn't free her or talk to her. So I killed her. And she was like, Screw you, buddy. I was like, I thought I was helping you. Uh, I went back there just to check. She's respawned back there. Still stuck on the wall, but won't speak to you or anything. So I don't know really what to make of that. Um, this bro here. I think that bro there might have something. Let's go check him out. Seriously, cop. I'm dying less. Okay, you're making me feel better. Uh, what, similar in to how, how you, like, items you use or, um, like, how you've, like, went about exploring the areas and stuff. But, yeah. It's, uh, it's such a good game. I, I Again, I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea and... People, maybe they like the idea of it, but they don't have the patience for it. 
And who knows, I might tap out before the end. I don't I don't know, but I'm greatly enjoying it. Um I wouldn't mind I would be willing to put some time into grinding uh runes if I found a super suitable spot, but I feel that I've not really at the moment. Well, uh, I'm sure I'm sure a spot will turn up at some point where I feel like the effort is worth oh, nice of you, the amount of uh, runes you get, but we shall see. Right. This guy... Okay, he's got a bunch of consumables, but... Okay, I'll buy those uh, smithing stones as they're just hanging around. Um, but he's, I don't really need any of his other stuff there. Right, so he's done. He's marked off. So we've got this wolf dude here. Half wolf. Blade, the half wolf. Didn't want to speak to us when we went through, so... What are you going to do? Um, I don't think carle uh, has got any stuff. That guy on the beach, I've got his stuff. Um, still trying to f figure out how to get over here. But, you know, we'll worry about that later. Um, right, so... That guy. And also this merchant here. Okay, let's uh, head over to this bro here. Oh. See what he's got for us. Yeah, again, and I'm sure some people will be like, why are you buying useless items you don't need this? Why don't you just level up? Why don't you get a few more levels? Make the game a bit easier for yourself. <laughs> um, uh, I think... I think so. Oh, do you mean the... Uh, the the uh, the 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 special flask, the uh, wondrous physic flask. Yeah, we have, and we've currently got um, a heal and the uh, stamina regen on it. Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to dealing with this godforsaken realm when we uh, finally get to it, but. Thankfully, we've got more pleasant places to uh, entertain us for the time being. It's all training, isn't it? Maybe uh, once we've uh, done some, cleared out the lake, we'll um, have a more pleasant time of this area. Well, an easier time. We shall see. All right, break. Yes, yeah, so let me remind you what we got. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Tell a lie. I've already bought all this bro stuff as well. Okay, this is good. Marking them off the list for later. Okay. Uh, that guy was just giving us a clue. He was actually selling anything. Um, oh, wait. Have I got an, Did I get another... Um, I've got one more uh, death route, haven't I? it's under key items right i do okay let's go trade that in i've forgotten all about that there we go up here to um the beast clergyman yeah yeah cop yeah yeah because it's quite useful isn't it <laughs> uh and i've heard of it, we we've got um because you mix in two different crystals to get two different effects, don't you? The uh, and uh, yeah, we've got the um, we've got one that uh, I guess on the key arms. So, yeah, you go. We've got one that heals half your hit points, which is that's pretty. Now, the the longer the game goes on, that's more powerful because obviously it's a fifty percent rather than whatever, and then uh, temporarily boost stamina. Okay, I guess because the other two are a uh, uh, boost to faith. I think this doesn't hurt. Um, charged attacks. Seems good, but if you're in a boss fight, you may not really have the opportunity to use charged attacks. So, but anyway, go, bro. Here you go. Um, have a death root. He does like them. Nom, 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 nom. Not what I'd want to eat. Okay. Bestial vitality. Well, well, well. What is this? 
Uh, oh, regen. Incantation taught, taught by Grank, the beast clergyman. Fills the body with bestial vigor, restoring hit points over a period of time. I've gained intelligence. The beast must have felt how their wildness slipped away as, as civilization took hold. Um, need a little bit more faith to use that. But yeah, re nice regen. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, buddy. Um, looking forward to that layer. Right, ha this guy's got a little load of stuff. Um, ah, was it Mojo? What, just outside of there? Okay, interesting. You don't mean that big creature outside the door? Kill the merchants, Ryan. What? What, what are you saying, buddy? Murder, gone a murd, murdery, murdering spree. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> I, I don't know why uh, that's a good thing. I don't feel I should do that. I mean, you could probably murder and take their stock anyway, right? Unusual fella, aren't we? Did this aged merchant have something that caught your eye? Yeah, your, your strange face covering. Right, here we go. Oh, is that a new torch there? Beast repellent torch. What? Torch which burns oil and infuses special incense. The aroma pacifies the wild beast. I can only imagine it doesn't work on uh, rune bears. Uh, <laughs> Torches such as these were used to keep unwelcome beasts away from treasure troves hidden in caves. Nice. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Um, I don't know how important they are. Lost ashes of war. You can duplicate an ash of war. Seems pretty damn cool. Um, I already bought one. I'll buy the other. Uh, and then another ritual pot. These seem to be... Uh, used for crafting in some, some fashion. So let me buy that. So yeah, this guy's got... I already bought the uh, the legs of the samurai armor. He's got the rest of the set. We've got a new uh, castus there. I don't worry about his consumables. But I want the torch. And then he's also got a little bit of... Um, knowledge there as well have a safe journey yeah we'll do thank you buddy um right let's get back to where we are then so remember that guy um so we're slowly getting through the merchants that guy has, doesn't have anything um not sure about that bro there he might um i think we've got yeah we've got all uh the the spells from uh, Muriel now. Or was there one, was there one more? I can't remember if we went and got it. I'll have to check. Um, I swear there's another merchant around these here parts. Maybe not. I don't know. We're slowly getting there. Oh yeah, sorry. I need to actually do the fast travel, don't I? Right. Okay. Let's go check out this uh, this boss that's at the top of this cliff. Yeah, it's very Elden, indeed. <laughs> um, oh, is that uh, one of the later bosses there, Mojo? Uh, yo, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. Bless you, Ryan. Thank you, sir. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. So, being leveling up is good, but it's not needed. Really, cop? I th but, yeah, okay. So you're not losing any of their items by doing that. So it's like if it's, it's also it's essentially a system to allow you to still buy stuff, even if you accidentally murder a merchant. Well, why would you want to do that? My God, Squidge! If I could go there, I'd. Uh... <laughs> What a cookie mag a cookie flavour magnum. Calm down, uh Sphinx. <laughs> trying to make me um Yeah, it's like a fail safe cop, yeah. Just in case. Cause you might hit the wrong button and just be like, oh I accidentally murdered someone. That's fine. Um 
did they red mage yeah magnums are pretty amazing uh anyway boss fight time it's going to be sung out okay this is quite a big doorway am i gonna i'm gonna poop my pants whilst i walk through it <laughs> okay let's we can pull our wolves out at least or, or a summon let's have a look what we got oh, okay we don't even have a Oh, we got away on a cutscene or something. Oh, sh oh dear. Oh, oh. Oh, it's one of these bros. Oh, is he a specific magma worm? So we've fought one of these before. And when I say fought, we haven't actually fought. Okay, and the wolves just get wrecked, basically, from this guy. And I kind of get wrecked from this guy. Uh, so this one, this is a magma worm with a name. So I assume he's going to be tougher than... <sighs> what we previously fought. Yeah. I, although, you know what? Ugh. I'm not sure if we're... I'm doing fractionally more damage to him. Ow! I don't think I am, actually. We might uh, be a bit early fighting this guy, honestly. Oh, he seems... Um, he seems less inclined to use his magma attacks than the other one of these we fought. God, I just do so little damage, though. That's the issue with this fellow. Oh, nice. Why, why did the crit do a lot less? I don't know. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. He uh, almost faked me out then. Oh, he's got a flame sword now. Oh dear. I don't uh There's some turning into me there. Okay. Um uh Sphinx, you take care, my dear. Have a good evening. Um I hope you uh you hope you sleep well. Um <laughs> Yeah, indeed, Ryan. Okay. So, first impressions compared to the other one we fought of these, which we have not defeated yet. This, the arena here is larger. You've got more space to work with. Um, he seems to use his magma attack a lot less often, relatively. And I've, I felt generally I was having an easier time with him until he powered up and I didn't know whether... <sighs> That's the problem when you... When they're like tall enemies being locked onto him, it kind of screws your camera up. But then obviously if you unlock from them, it's harder to keep an eye on where they are. Well, that's any of that's an excuse. But for a first attempt, not knowing what I was going to, we got him under 50%. So, I mean... You know what I'm saying? That's, uh... Let's give another go, eh? Let's see what we can do. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think the problem with the wolves is they just walk in the magma. They don't understand that's a bad idea. Bless them. Bless their little hearts. Okay, I... Right, attacking his head without the crit does, like, way more damage when he's uh, stunned. They're putting some time in uh, on his tail there, aren't they? Whoa! Whoa! Bro! Ay, ay, ay. Oh, just walking in lava. Okay, I mean, again, his second form is a problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was working. It was working, Ryan. Um, yeah, he is, he's a bit awkward in that second form. But I just got to not be walking around in lava. Those uh, the wolves would put in a decent amount of time in at the back there, but I wonder if I'd be better off with um, maybe just like the mage or something. But let's let's uh, let's try a few more with the wolves. They don't last long, do they? But they're doing their best. Bless their little hearts. Oh, make them straight away. All right, buddy. Ow. Yeah, not, let's not uh, do that, shall we? Oh, got kicked there. And there's the wolf's gone. Okay. <laughs> Oh, gotta watch out for that body slam. Yeah, I don't know. I've been stuffed in a court the wall with him here. Ugh. I don't know if I can use this to uh, my advantage somehow. I would guess probably not. Oh, yeah. We'll be very careful. <sighs> okay, I tell a lie. I swear the first time he walked in here, he was not using his magma as much. What are you going to do, though? I don't know. Like, very, very specifically, but... Now he's... <laughs> that's his favourite thing. <laughs> ah! I thought I had my shield ready, but... Not quick enough. Ugh. Okay, so, um, I, th I don't know. I just got a good uh, vibe on that first run, but. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Wolves getting insta yeeted is not helping out, is it? 
<laughs> so awkward. I'm like, yes, attack. Oh no, I can't. I can't walk on lava. Wow, bro. Ugh. out of heels. This one might be a bust, I'm afraid. Yeah, could be, Ryan. Uh, I don't know if I've got the ammo for it. Um, although, yeah, I feel that if I did have a, a, a decent range attack to rely on uh that could do the, do the job i wonder maybe i should um get a get a sense of uh how much like it's if he you know magic does much i could just stack up on uh magic flasks if uh potentially Have a look. Oh, okay. Magic's fairly reasonable. Yeah, it's not terrible. bless their little hearts they um they can't keep up the aoe's i think if we're going to use a summon it needs to be um needs to be a, probably the ranged or i think the skellies will last because they'll their corpses will get stuck in the um in the uh magma as well shield ready but obviously not Oh no. <laughs> too too much magma. <laughs> uh can't unless we're uh, oh yeah, more runes there. Unless we're trying maybe get him to hang out in the water there. Maybe that helps. I don't know, probably not. reasonably well. <sighs> Stompy boy. It's just the ratio of, of uh, when you <laughs> he's viable to be attacked and when he's not. I don't know. It could be a could be an option, uh, Ryan. Just switch all my flasks over to uh, to magic. 
Uh, and just try and not get hit at all and just stay at range the whole fight. Which seems reasonably easy to do. Relatively. So we almost got him halfway, but then he's going to do his uh, transformation, which makes him super awkward for me to fight. Oh, he's doing it now. Yeah. I mean, that sword. If I get caught by that. It's me, uh, lights over. Lights over. Lights out. Game over. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that crap he's left all on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you see how awkward the camera is? It's not, I mean, that's an excuse, but... trying to get in on him, but there's shit on the floor. Range! Get some range, boy. Oh, got him in the belly. God damn it. Just mistimed my dodge. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a uh, yeah, hitting him in the belly. Let's let's give him a go, another go. Let's get in on him. I feel the wolf, sir. I feel any summon is not the best, <laughs> honestly. Um, but the wolves are just gonna get killed real e easily. Um, let's put in our crappy uh, mage. Not our well, that's our. our second tier mage not our third tier we can't use them yet but the wolves are just they do a little bit of damage and they just die the, the mage might stay out of the way might not do enough damage that I need to worry about him yeah I, I want to yeah hit him in the belly I think I also want to not get hit myself, obviously. Oh. I can't... I can't get in it. <laughs> okay, the mage is even more useless than the... Uh, than the wolves. Stompy, stompy, stomp. Ow! I'm trying to get underneath him. Get out of that. Oh. Still struggling with this lack of vigor, aren't I? I feel like a swig of your flask should not be doing like hundred percent of your uh, of your hit points. So it's like wasted. And it's also kind of like not safe.
terribly tonga. I think we're going to lose our 900 uh, runes. I don't even know where they are, but it's not enough to worry about. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think it's just... Um, I think it might just be putting the bleed on, on him, honestly. I think that's what the... Uh... That's what the factor is. Right, now, now it's time for uh, help. See how I'm real struggling with this camera. Not that's an excuse, because that's just how it is. Oh yeah, you can uh, get a crit on him, except no, you can't, because uh, fuck. Damn it, out of the lava. Get out of it, get out of it. Right. Oh no, oh no. We've got no heal, no heal. <laughs> That's it. Okay, we've got half a heal. Okay, this is it. This is... That's that do or die situation, folks. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, that's the only problem with the rune arcs, isn't it, Mojo? Is, um... Yeah, the bleed was putting in some time there. I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's worth switching to uh, our quicker attacking bleed weapon. I don't know. That definitely, I'm, I'm like, I'm all, I, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I just have to get my dodges down a little bit better. Um, God, the mage was even worse than the wolves was. <laughs> Let's just try the wolves again. Um. He's, a f he's fun to fight, though. I'll say that. When he's not uh, getting cheap shots. <laughs> the thing is, his whole body is uh, an attack, isn't it? So, Yeah, the wolves are almost pointless, though. Like anything is. Because they're just like that wolf. Look at those two there. They're just like, oh, I'm just going to run through this this lava here. They got no sense of uh, anything, unfortunately. I don't think any of the summons can do similar. Like, oh my god. We might put this guy on the list. Um, I know I'm close, but I feel I'm not close. The, the attempts just take too long. Um, I suppose we could do one final, uh, just go like ranged attempt. Obviously no bleed there, but... Oh my god. Ah, I see one of the special ones, Mojo. Yeah, I'll, I'll hope to use them one day. I would hope to use them one day. We'll have to, um... Um, let me try. I think well, I don't think I've got anything that has the best b bleed build up. Well, that does anyway. But this just uh, hits quicker and get more hits in. Um, 
Yeah, I think technically we've got that. Is that the sword is the best bleed build up? Um, let's uh, try this just for the quicker hits. See if I can get in there. All right, let's get the use of the Sir Wolf's in. got like 10% less bleed build but <laughs> yeah I'm starting to lose it at the minute folks I do apologize I'm gonna I'm gonna try a, a magic run and see if I can just stay out of his way at range we'll give that a go um obviously my magic is crap but I just glint glint stone him to death maybe Otherwise, I'm just going to put on the back burner with his his friend. Um, right, here we go. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need. All of it, I guess. So, let's give it a go. No hits. Yeah, I don't have any FP, unfortunately. I've got, I've got the, the I've got the FP of a wretch. Oh yeah, I didn't think if you want to uh, use that there, should I? Yeah, not the uh, not the best uh, start there. <laughs> All there. Looking at the damage there, I reckon I could um, maybe go for two, two heals, and we'll go with six uh, replenishments. Um, yeah, Mojo. Like I say, I hope soon. I because I don't mind putting the time in grinding off stream, but I, I want it to feel like worthwhile, like an actual spot where I'm like, oh, okay, these enemies are not too tough, and relatively they give you a decent amount of uh, heals. But um, I've yet, I've yet to seen that place. Okay, let's um, let's change that slightly, just so I'm not absolutely dead. There we go. Two and six. Let's go for that. just for what they're worth. Blood CL. Getting up on my grill there. Oh my god. <laughs> Step back into the death there. Yeah, I'll feel. Yeah, uh, I feel so. Uh, Ryan just need to. Uh, a wretch. Uh, <laughs> a wretch. <laughs> That's more terrible uh, enunciation there. Um. <laughs> a wrench. <laughs> Yo, Ben, how you doing, Ben? Are you well? Are you good, buddy? How's it going, Ben? Here we go. Once again. I guess it's the R I guess there is RNG in the boss fights to some degree, cop. Because that time he, he was like just stomping me down. He was like, I'm just going directly at you, bro. And I'm not gonna turn around, not gonna do anything else.
Ow. Oh no, I'm using the wrong flask there. I'm so used to uh Oh yeah, that's our one heal. We do have our um We do have, have our physic, I guess, but Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Ah! That wasn't intended. Here we go. Big boy attacks. Really? Yes, is the answer. Uh oh. That's the one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Uh actual magic to do this honestly it seems i don't know if he's uh just uh buffed up his magic resistance maybe or uh oh well that was terrible losing your lock on or hitting the wall or getting whacked around like that <laughs> yeah i don't feel that's the way to go um i mean it would be if you're actual an actual mage but we're not we're just uh, <laughs> uh, uh no no ben i'm sure we're gonna come across a dragon later on that has uh not only a sword but two swords uh and a bow and a spear and a and a friend who is another dragon and uh and has a uh, regeneration and is also invincible uh, i don't doubt we're gonna <laughs> and it's also probably a cyborg uh from the future and is also a god and other things <laughs> okay uh i my god i need to step out for uh one minute guys because uh, i'm about to spring a leak that probably wasn't helping um I feel like the best effort we've had so far, Cobb, is just going in with the with the sword again. I don't know. Bear with.
Right, it's sort of cute right in there. Uh, thank you, Ryan. 200 bitties. Appreciate it, sir. Ah! <laughs> Excellent. Well, Dragon King Slice, sir. Uh, right, yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel if if only we're a mage, eh? If only, can you imagine such a thing? Uh, <laughs> oh god, I think we're I think the connection's a bit shit again. I do apologise. <sighs> it's not been the best day, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we're not three thousand deaths just yet. Um, okay, I'm gonna give one. I'm gonna try and get one more decent go. Is that? The difficulty of the fight is in his second form when he's got his, his, his two-hander and his magma sword. If you get hit with that, you're one-shotted. And he's like, he goes, and I'm like, now? Is it now? Is it now? Because if, if you dodge too early, then he slams you. If you dodge too late, then he slams you. you got to you have your dodge on point. Got to have your dodgers on point. But yeah, I, I, I think I was definitely doing the best damage to him, getting under his belly, or around the back his back legs, and uh... getting that bleed on him. Oof! Unfortunate. There was the wolves. There uh, they were. Gone. Ow. How's it going there, about the Are you well, so I'm I'm pretty good. Just dying lots. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Yeah, if uh, if wishes were fishes, we'd be feasting tonight. Um, did ya? Very nice. Very nice. I don't know that I've. Uh, I don't remember the last time uh, I did roast chicken dinner, but. Uh, uh, I do remember them. Um, nice, buddy. Man after my own heart. Balthier knows how to eat well. I respect... Oh, I want some... Not that it really matters, but... I don't really need any wolf spot. Oh, the poor silly wolves. Oh, get, get out of that shit on the floor there. Oh, my God. Stuffed in the corner. Not in a good way. <laughs> I'll give him, I want to have, have one attempt at him I where you? I feel it's a good attempt. Uh, thank you for the follow there, Rancid. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, I, uh... Yeah, I just want one go where I'm like, yeah, that was a good go. I don't even if I fail again. We'll just mark him off. I just want to have like one decent, one decent, more decent go on him, you know. Well, that kind of gives me hope for the is is non-named uh, magma worm friend. Honestly, uh, like I could step in and give that guy another go. the wolf stun. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Yeah, get that bleed on him. Nice. I can't do anything if you're going to stuff yourself over there, buddy. Give me that super hot crack all over the floor. Oh, don't push me into it. <laughs> oh, I, ca I can't call him an asshole. He's, uh, I've come into his home to uh, harass him. Was that a good attempt? No, we can do better than that. I don't believe I've... Um, I don't believe I will have any poison attacks of any kind, Ryan, unfortunately. I may have a few arrows, but I don't know that they'd be of any use. Yeah, there you go, Rancid. That's probably what level you're supposed to be. We're like, I think we're 26. <laughs> um, no, I, I expect he would hate poison, but unfortunately, I'd say I don't have too much in the way of any poison attacks at this juncture one. That's the problem. If you start as a wretch, you're going to not have too much in the way of anything, <laughs> relatively. All right, okay, one more, one more decent go. I wish you wolves knew not to just walk in the lava. But... Oh, whoa, whoa, wow, wow. Poor little wolves. They tried. They tried. Terribly time dodge. <sighs> you just can't one shot me, but I mean, doing the. Oh my god. Okay. We'll come back to him later. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess I that's the only problem. I don't have the FP to make use of it. <laughs> oh, it's special. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, we used it uh, a couple of times on a few things. I can only imagine, Ryan. Right, okay. Well, uh, I will just... We're probably not going to forget this guy, but I will just mark him for consistency. Right, okay. Where to next? Okay, we want to head back here. Yeah, I don't know. We'll come back to him. Uh, well, we got his, his little brother to defeat as well. It will just... um be easier when when we come back to it uh we'll just put him on, on the uh the the list the ever growing list of bosses we still need to defy uh to defeat fight defy there we go new word uh okay so rather than heading down there let's try heading this way Oh, 
Whoa. Okay, you got a giant launching something at us. Let me just check that out. Right, okay. Nothing important. A little bit of history there. I'm just trying to check out the sites, but, you know, they don't want it to uh, allow us to do that. Oh, another rune arc. Nice. Stupid little uh, dragonflies, which I do need to kill, to be fair, but they're just uh, rather awkward. Okay. Oh, okay. Is it one of these? And he's got his night buddy there with him. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Do not like fighting these knights. Get around them. I've gone south from here. Yeah, yeah, we've basically covered we've we've come from south here, Rancid. We haven't really been into the full extent of the lake yet. Uh there's plenty of seemingly open area there that we haven't gone to. But um obviously this game, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of open space, but there's a lot of stuff to find as well. So I don't I don't know. I feel it's uh oh slightly uh, incorrect to say uh, like Malejo says it's just an empty world full of nothing oh, that, oh my god <laughs> I don't feel that, that is correct um, there's a lot of okay I meant to go back to the the uh, grace there never mind um, uh but yeah, there is, is, yeah, because it's massive, there is a lot of empty space. But that empty space is filled with loads of stuff. I'll say Malegio, he got, he's further through it, he was further through it than I've got to, but he was like, eh, it's not very good. And I was like, okay, well, can't please everyone, I guess. <laughs> right, okay, I'm not going to fight these guys. I'm just going to try and get away from them. It's a shame, I'd like to fight them, but... There's got to be some stuff here as well, no doubt. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yo, Ryan, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, have we left him alone for a minute? I think we have. Right, okay, this is heading to where the weird thing was killing us. Yeah, watch watch this, watch this. I'm going to suddenly start becoming... Oh! Is it that weird thing there? I'm going to start becoming uh, insane. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is it Eye of uh, Sauron there? Is that what's get doing us? Right, okay. God, look how uh, slowly it dips down, though. Oh, uh, yeah, no, did you not hear this, Coptimus? Uh, maybe you weren't here. Yeah, Malegio, he was he was here, like, when we were playing this, um, maybe a week, week and a half ago. And he was, um, because he's a fan of the Dark Souls series, the trilogy. And he was like, yeah, I was really looking forward to it, but it's just not very good. And I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah, it's just... It's just a big empty space where there's nothing in it. Was, he's like, Dark Souls 2 is much better. I was like, oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I do uh, 
I do love my Leggio, but sometimes he, you know, he has some hot takes sometimes. <laughs> Right, do we can we stop that? What even is this? I'm sure we must be able to, right? This whatever f this foul thing is. Oh, oh, the frenzy flaming tower. Okay, let's um, let's try and get in here. Oh, no, that's turning us mad. Okay. Not how I want to fight these guys. Oh, can I? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there you go. Madness! Okay, at least I understand what's going on over there. Well, I say I understand, I don't know. <laughs> Is there a thing up there I could destroy or hit a switch to stop that being a thing? <laughs> oh, um, oh, nice rancid. Yeah, I um, I never played uh, Demon Souls, um, but I hear the remake of it on PS Five is very good. Yeah, look, I'm trying to make it stop it making me go insane. Uh, route. That's the thing, you know. And also, it's not, I know that it's not, um, uh, <laughs> he played the Eldan Ring. <laughs> I don't know. You have to talk to him about it. It's, um, yeah, he was, you know, he's, not, he's a very opinionated guy, uh, which, you know, we all are, but he was, um, he was almost like, He's like, oh yeah, fair enough if people like it, but it's just not a very good game. I was like, it's not, it's not a very good game. You mean you just don't like it? He's like, nice, nah, it's just not very good. <laughs> I was like, okay, buddy. <laughs> um, I was like, well, I, I, you know, a bit diplomatically, I was like, I was like, well, you know, that's fair enough, manager. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really good. And he's like, yeah, it's just, it's a load of empty space. I was like, okay, okay, buddy. <laughs> Bless him. I do, I do love him. I do love him. And uh, yeah, he's got a new job recently. God, lo lo long time coming. Well overdue for him. I hope it works out. Okay, so we can actually go around this way. It's probably a little bit quicker. Um, I think we're uh, liable to be uh, turning mad as soon as we're all around the corner, though. So I need to watch out for that. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's their madness as well, isn't it? Their little attacks. Oh my, oh my god. <sighs> there we go. I'm not, um, not a massive fan of fighting horseback, honestly. I understand it can be useful, but the number of times I've rode past something and just swung my sword and just missed. You know. Like, eh. yeah. Right, you shall not see us with your evil eye. Can we just ride beyond it? Will it still see us, I guess? Let's try. Yes, it will. It will indeed. Okay. So I've got to get up there and deal with it. I just need to not suck at killing rats. Yeah, is there like a guy up there controlling it? I don't know. Nice. 
<laughs> do do cop do i don't know i i feel um because you, you know maleggio uh cop he's his favorite kind of game is a metroidvania he loves to explore he loves to find all the secrets and stuff um but uh, you know a typical 2d metroidvania it however large the map is it is confined in a 2d realm isn't it so i wonder if he felt um a game of this scope in a 3d a completely 3d environment um with and it has a map but it's not like a map where you can like a, a grid based you can easily track where you've been there's no way of tracking in this game where you've been you just got it's all memory isn't it of course you unlock your graces so you can tell where you've been um npcs get marked and you've got your own like marker system where you can place your own little markers for later on to for reference so i wonder if that was part of it it's just like you know because i know he specifically likes to go for that 100 percent whereas has anybody ever 100 percent this game is there anybody who's ever found every single little pre-placed item in every nook and cranny probably not yeah uh, realistically i don't know um anyway you off skis uh i uh mojo well thank you for hanging out buddy i appreciate it we are going to be playing uh more elder ring tomorrow and wednesday uh a little bit on thursday probably but not for the whole stream uh we'll probably this time of day we probably will be playing uh and then also friday um that is going to be uh, this this week is our final full week of elden ring we've got many many other things we need to be getting on with on the channel um elden ring will continue but it will not be full time um but this is our final week of full time elden ring um yeah an interesting uh cop I, i'm not sure i'm not sure i'd have to ask him about it because um Let's be. This is what I'm. I've not played uh, Breath of the Wild. My understanding of it is, it's essentially FromSoft played Breath of the Wild, and they were like, "Oh, yeah, we need to make. We need to make this into Dark Souls. We need to Dark Soul Soulsify this concept, and then this is what you have. It's called Elden Ring. Um. So I don't know. Maybe he. Maybe he didn't like that either uh cop i don't know we'd have to ask him no <laughs> unfortunately not uh cop uh we we this channel is a variety channel uh i have uh producers that i want to satisfy their desires um oh my god but the, for all of tomorrow all of wednesday some of thursday and all of friday and then one day a week until we finish the game so i mean full time as in we're going to be playing it for a long time oh my god yeah if you get take a hit before you give a hit that's the uh that's the issue forget them all thank god for that um it interrupts your attack there. It kind of stops you attacking. But... but yeah, so I mean, you could look at that in two ways, Cop. One, maybe if you're, you know, for those of you who are very invested in the game and my playthrough of it, uh, it sucks because you're going to get a lot less, but you could see it as a good thing because you're going to get, it's going to last a lot longer. We could be playing this still like six months from now, a year from now. I don't know. I don't I really don't know how long it's going to take us, you know. Uh, and to be fair, I may do bits off stream, but I'll make a point of not uh, looking at anything too crazily interesting. Certainly no no big bosses or anything like that. That'll all be saved for stream. Right, let's see if I can deal with this weirdness. Right, rats. Rats. Rats in a hole.
All right, one more. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can't get up this thing and stop whatever is going on up there. And hopefully, if we can... Well, hopefully, one, we can. And secondly, hopefully, it is, like, permanent. I hope it's just, like, some kind of weird magic use on. I can just kill him, and that's that. Oh, oh, the howl of Shibiri. Not grapes, but a howl. Okay. Thirty, thirty-three faith. Uh, incantation originating from the maddening three fingers. Releases a maddening shriek that causes madness build up in foes nearby. This incantation also causes madness build up in the caster and makes enemies more likely to target them. It is said that the sickness of the flame of frenzy began with Shabiri, and most the most reviled man in all of history. I don't know if you want to be eating his grapes, then, dear. I would not want to eat um, the most the grapes of the most reviled man in history. Imagine, you know, you got. Oh, do you want some Hitler grapes? It's like, no, I don't. I really don't. Oh my. Oh shit. I can't even see what's up there. But as soon as I get up there, that freaking flame. God damn it. Yeah, interesting tactic. I assume that you the idea is you would have something to mitigate it for yourself. But if you could uh inflict well maybe not on enemy random enemies, but uh if you're fighting doing PvP. I think most players wouldn't really expect you to be sticking uh, sticking madness on them. Okay, I'll need to be careful, don't I? Yeah. As soon as that's done, I need to go, go, go. And hope for the best. What we got? I assume... Yeah, there we go. That was them praying to make it happen. What what scum? So presumably they're not going to be dead forever. <laughs> Every time I come through this area, they're going to be there. Okay, well... Hopefully we can get us uh, some grace on the other side of wherever this is going and then... We, we need never travel traverse this area again. But we shall see. Uh, thank you, Coptimus. I appreciate that. Look at that. Isn't that just... Isn't that just sound much better? Those magnet... Those flaming madness fellows. <laughs> right. Where are we actually going? Okay, I wanted to... Yeah. So I need to check out the town here. I also want to travel east to check those buildings out and then get up on this plateau here. Let's try just heading directly east for now. So I don't die. They shouldn't respawn. Nice. Awful rats everywhere. Not even worth killing, honestly. If we can uh, stay away from them. Oh, hello. I'll probably find this guy's cave anyway. Oh, can I not? It's got to be the wolf on us, okay. Oh, and you, buddy. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. Um. Have a look at this. No. Oh, usually these let you uh, click on them, don't they? And they give you a little, like, guide. This one doesn't want to let me. Okay. I'll probably find the cave anyway. It's not that you need the guide. It's just, uh... I like clicking on it on the... Just say so it's, like, done on the map, if that makes sense. 
How curious. Never mind. That's the eye of uh, Sauron. That's any mad. Um, we shall see. Um, uh, urchins, it's going good. How's your, how's your uh, afternoon, evening going? Yeah, how long do we got? Oh, I swear the streams fly by when you play Elden Ring. In the best possible way. Let me just uh, look at this over a second. Right, I've already been down in that crevice. That was uh, the dungeon we did earlier. Okay, so this is clearly something cool. Or, or deadly. Oh, we got a giant. Okay. Yeah, giants are kind of tricky. knock him over maybe oh I see I see bro or oh, get some bleed on him that'd be nice but Or just die instead. Oh, I've got to go past the Tower of Hell again. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> no worries, no worries, Urchin. Um. Uh, Shinder's List, not exactly. I mean, I wouldn't say it's not entertaining. It's an excellent movie. It is, but it's very dark. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Yeah, it's, it is very powerful as well, isn't it, Ryan? It's... <laughs> I was going to say it's not... I was saying, oh, it's not entertaining. It is entertaining because it's an excellent work of art, but it's... um, It's, it's, it's brutal, you know? <laughs> right, okay, let's... We're trying to, okay, I forgot that was a magic giant. Let's get back up on him. Oh, okay, let's just get yeeted instead. Let's see. Okay, let's see if, uh, I assume the tower is still there, isn't it? I have to just te try and chance getting by it. I don't want to be dealing with that every time. I just want to travel through to this, this top area. But we'll um, we'll see what happens, eh? Okay, we got rid of it. Done well. Okay, um, I'm happy about that. I don't want to be dealing that every time. That is the uh, one thing about these games. There are certain, aside from like actual bosses and mini bosses, there are certain enemies and s even situations like that. That once you've done them, the game's like, okay, now nah, you, you've done that, and we're not going to make you do that every single time. So uh, I, res I respect them for, you know, not making me do that jank there. But yeah, it's, um... Ah, and there's Grace there. Uh, just missed it. <laughs> there we go. I thought we'd, uh, I was expecting one to be around soonish. Okay, I want to kill the, try and kill this giant. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> fun and cheery. Uh... <laughs> I mean, if, yeah, you, your friend's pulling your leg. Or your friend's a complete psychopath. And to your friend, it is actually fun and cheery. Uh, 
Uh, you never know. Yeah, I just wanted to check that again. Just never mind. Eh? Right. Okay. Head in this one. Yeah, I need to get uh, I need to get under the giant's legs and try and stay there, not get too much distance and hack at his legs a little bit. the runes instead I should know. I don't think we had that many really did we indeed Ryan indeed terrible <laughs> uh, I, I mean I could try and fight the giant on horseback but I don't know that I'd have any better uh better chance uh with it and i don't even know if i need to fight this giant i just kind of want to um but i don't want to worry about going for our runes now completely pointless yeah I had a, a split second decision and I made the wrong decision. Never mind. Okay, completely ignore them now. There we go. not good shouldn't panic dodge like that oh a nice bleed seriously <laughs> I'm so bad at this guy <laughs> uh, yo buck alright there buck how you doing we'll do buddy we'll do we've not got long of it left but uh, I hope you're doing well buck um yeah, yeah, uh, Urchins is uh, not seen it before, and he's going to be watching it for the first time tonight. Yeah, it's, it's intense. I recommend everybody watch it, but it's like, if my buddies were like, it's movie night, I'd be like, awesome! Probably not, because I don't watch movies, but... <laughs> uh, but yeah, in theory. Um, and then someone's like, yeah, Schindler's List! I'd be like, oh, we we just not having fun tonight, then. <laughs> it's not... It's not exactly conducive to it, it is an excellent piece of artwork to absorb if you haven't before but it's not like you're gonna feel good while you're watching it um you've never seen it cop uh worth seeing you're also not gonna die unfulfilled if you don't watch it so don't worry about it it's not a good time it's not it's nothing fun about it um but it is an excellent piece of art i, I, I think we can say that Oh, nice. Oh, kind of nice. Not exactly nice. Oh, did I? Unfortunately, I'll cock that up. Never mind. Got rid of his magic, though. Which is a... Uh, something. I'm so tired of getting one shot by everything. There's no runes. Where's the grinding spot? <laughs> We're not found it yet. Um, yeah, indeed, indeed, Ryan. It is, it is a fantastic movie because of how powerful it is, um, and it's obviously the content is covering a very 
uh, important part of humanity's collective history. But n nothing fun happens in it. <laughs> Nobody has a good time in it. Uh, so, it's... <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, I probably should. I should have used the cop in that situation. I always forget about it. Um... Yeah, when we when we've got a little bit of distance, so I definitely should have. I just um, just don't think about it when I'm in it. Yeah, I don't think it even uses that much FP, does it? Relatively. to use my flask there but maybe I was just stunned at the time and to be fair this giant like the other giants I've seen he probably just respawns anyway uh so I'm not like it's not like I, it's not a mini boss I don't need to get rid of him but as he's just stood right there um Yeah, no, it's it does it does rancid. Yeah, I used it. It's a very good effect. Um, fighting uh the uh I can't remember what his name was. The uh, the dark spirit that's in the round table hold. Cause he was giving me a bit of uh, grief. But yeah, it's it's pretty fancy. You can and you can use it like several times. But uh. It's just looking for the right moment to use it. I feel like I should save it until I, he's got some distance on me or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to open with it. Okay. Too far away, obviously. <laughs> Not even, uh, I guess it saved me from danger there. Yeah, even if you don't get hit by a sword, he's... <laughs> Not close enough. Okay. You do need a bit of uh, space, obviously. Holy hell. It does definitely seem uh, bleed set susceptible. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, we killed him. For what it's worth. I don't think it's worth much. <laughs> right. Back to it. Um, okay, we're just heading up here, aren't we? Is it friendly? Is it nice? Converted fringe tower. Converted to what? Okay. There's someone living here. Uh, may erudition light the way. Okay. Um. Oh. We solved the puzzle. 
Now, we've seen a couple of these before, but... I don't think I've seen any that say solves the puzzle. So... Now, erudition, as in to be erudite, as in to be clever, right? As to be smart, to be a clever person. Uh, I've got to blast some magic at it. Well, uh, obviously not when I haven't got any. Um, I completely missed there. Doesn't matter. Um, um, ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you get an extra bit of damage with your uh, jump, don't you? Um, I would assume that a charge attack would do more, but uh, obviously that's far more risky, isn't it? Okay. Um. Yeah, hardly a puzzle. We just need an item, I guess. Okay, maybe there's something below. Probably not, but... Let's have a little look anyway. Um, I don't know. Um, unless it's somehow it looks similar to the glintstone key barriers. That's when we finally get our glintstone key that unlocks all of these. I don't know, but um, let me just check around the uh, the other side of the building. Okay, I will see an item down there for a start. Oh, I see where we are. Okay, if I jump down over across there, I'm just going to probably fall down. I think it should be safe to jump down here. Yeah, it's not too far, is it? New crystal dart. That's going to be a weapon, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. I'm throwing knife, chisel from impure crystal. Uh, long ago, you said that a golem crafter employed a similar crystal tool. Right, enemies to deal magic damage. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll, we've got to head back around that way anyway, uh, Rancid. So uh, I'll have a little look. We're heading back around there. Okay. It's not going that way. Um, and there's no reason to go down there. I don't think. I don't think we can even get down there safely, honestly. Right. Um. I mean, apart from a bunch of blue flowers, I'm not really, uh, not really seeing anything. I'm not gonna stand there and like pull a pose like she's posing or something. I don't know if I've got any that not we can obviously. Oh, 
joy, strength, bowing. Yeah, rapture. That's the closest, but it's not quite, is it? Mm. And I'd be, I'd be very shocked if there's any kind of puzzle in the game which required you to strike a certain pose. Um, yeah, possibly. Maybe I just don't have it yet. If, yeah, because we obviously both thought the same thing there. Seems weird, but... Yeah. Yeah, Mayor Edition, like the way. So maybe, there, maybe that is it, but either way, let me just... I guess we just mark that for later. Um, I don't think we need to come back and check. Uh, right, yeah, okay, we've got like... Forty minutes. Okay, so I want to head over this way. Check out these little buildings here. I say little buildings. No, there's nothing in this game that's little, is there? Okay, so we've got a little village. Oh, okay, we've got the crazy people. Frenzied flame village, right, okay. Not a fan of the uh, a frenzied flame. Not I'm not here to judge anyone's uh, religious uh, bearing, but leave me alone, yeah. All right, what can we see from up here? Oh, there's some guys down there, um, but there's guys elsewhere, but. I don't seem to... I'm getting much advantage from being up there. Very much so, very much so, uh, Ryan. Oh, we've got some uh, actual soldiers here. Okay, I see three. So we're going to sneak on one of them. To death. Okay, they're 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 frenzied by the flame, and there's like twenty of them. <laughs> Not twenty, about six of them. I only saw three. Silly me. Never mind, eh? Oh. It all good. That's only uh the three hunt. Oh, it's a connection. That's only the 322nd time we've died. So that's that's nothing really, is it? Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's get back in this village.
Okay, let me scout around from the other direction. Okay, there's guys in the house as well. Oh, hello. One thing I have noticed is that a lot of the uh, buildings in settlements and just randomly strewn about the map, you can't go in them. I feel that's uh, unfortunate. Like, they might as well not be there if you can't go in them. But I guess there's so many, they wanted to add it for the, the flavor, but they were just like... They, I guess they didn't want people like, constantly going in buildings, but then there's like... Oh, what well, if there's a building? We've got to put an item in here. And so you don't have to, but I guess as a player, how many empty buildings do you want to go into before you like, what? We get a little bit annoyed with it, maybe. Okay, that's the group of soldiers there, isn't it? That I attacked. They all seem to come from this way. Um... Oh, hello. They're enraptured by the yellow flame. Frenzied cookbook, number one. Okay, I'm going to be attacked right now. Let's have a look at that. Clarifying abolishers. Okay, so I guess that's to get rid of the madness. Uh, uh, I mean, I should probably look to see what we need to uh, craft them. Right, Eye of Yellow. Crystal cave moss and Dukist herba. Not even discovered a single one of those in the whole game yet. So that, I mean, that could be you know, take a bit for us to get out going. But <laughs> uh, let's not worry about that. One thing at a time. Oh, yeah, I don't know where the buddies came from. Did they bust out of this house or something? I have no idea. Oof. Okay. Trying to steadily take them out one at a time. Oof. I say, that's where it's. fighting groups as you can uh, see oh dear Yeah, not even, uh, not worth fighting in any shape or form. 
for the amount of uh, benefit you get from it. Never mind. Um, yeah, I've got plenty of mines. I just, I, uh, I'm sorry, uh, smithing stones. I just haven't, uh, I'm a bit OCD about, uh, you know, I don't want to use my, for example, I don't want to use my somber smithing stones because on this weapon, because what if I find another better weapon, like, later on? Or some nonsense like that. I'm, I'm sure I will at some point soon. But when that is. Um, Shabiri's Woe. What on earth is this? Is this a shield? No. Is it a helm? Must be a talisman, right? Yes. Uh, constantly attracts enemies' aggression. <laughs> Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. Constantly attracts enemies aggression. Uh, it's said that the man named Shibiri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander. And with time, the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Blech. Gross. I don't know why I would want to be attracting enemies to me, but... Um, and what that means? Does that mean enemies spawn in? Or does it mean if you're doing, like, a uh, jolly corporation, you can kind of, like, force one player to be, like, a tank? I don't know. Uh, pleased to get it for the collection, though. Oh. Oh, I don't know if we've got enemies on the other side or on top of this wall. Either way, but yeah, you're, you're right, Ranted. It's, it's, it gets to a point where even I have to bite the bullet at some point and commit. Because um, nothing's technically lost, is it, ever. Um, you should be able to farm smithing stones, at least the normal ones, if not... Um, even if the sombers... There are a set amount in the game world. Well, you've got New Game Plus, haven't you? So it's not like, oh no, you can only ever do this one thing, you know. And then, because you keep all your weapons, don't you? So it's, um... And if, uh, especially as I seem to be using this sword a lot, it's um, probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to go out more way to just get a bit more damage out of it. Carry us a little bit further. But, um, yeah, we shall see. I've got so many weapon options, though. So many fancy weapons. That a lot of it are like, oh, my God, that's amazing, or it looks amazing, but I don't have the stats for it. And then some that... I don't have the stats for that, but I've got, like, so many choices. I don't know what to go for. I guess this sword is the single most damaging sword I can use at our current stats. Ah, look. look oh, sorry, I missed what it said there. Hold on. Start from the beginning. Ah, Lord Vike. It seems that you know Lord after all. Then where is he? Our true Lord. Our Lord of Frenzied Flame. We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, may chaos take the world. Well, no. No, how about no? Although, I mean, if I had the ability to use some Frenzied Flame, I probably... I probably would, you know. Uh, <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, look, uh, I mean, even in the strength build, uh, Rancid, like, some of the, uh, I've got some crazy-looking strength weapons. Like that giant hammer, the giant, like, mallet, the block of stone on stick. <laughs> I'm like, that is amazing. If only I had some strength. <laughs> if only I had some strength. Um, but we shall, uh... Yeah, who... Oh. Oh, if I just... Walked into an area. Can't take the horse. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. It's you, is it, bro? Dark spirit for the win. Oh, okay. It's like that, is it? He's going to man us up. Yeah, he's, he's, there you go. That's one down. That's 
like, where did the horse go? Okay. Got to not get hit by this scum. So, um, let's see what I can do about this. He might, he might drop some awesome thing. Um, yeah, really. Well, I mean, I, I can't even imagine, uh, Rancid, how... It's good. How long it's going to take us to get to level 90. Um, so if we were still using this weapon by then, it seems like it might be worthy of the investment. And if I find something better that I like better later on, and I, I was like, oh, if only I'd saved my somber smithing stones. Well, you know, worse things have happened, haven't they? Okay, so let's look at Head... West through the village. Well, I'm not going to bother killing the enemies. I'll just ride through. This guy seems, guy seems uh, tricky. I don't know how I'm really going to be able to deal with him. I've just got to not get hit, basically. So, I mean, if I, if I can't block, I might as well go for some of this. I don't know. Oh, at least I'm to expect him now. Too much madness. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, sorry. I had more death. Well, you, when you got to level 90, um, did you, uh, did you, uh, complete the game, uh, Rancid? I've got, uh, several friends who put a lot of time into it and it's, just, it's such a lengthy and overwhelming game that they um it's hard to dedicate that much time to a single game so they got distracted so i'm sure they'll come back to it but it's um it's it's quite uh it's quite a thing isn't it um okay i don't know if I, it's one thing that guy's stabbing you and making you mad. It's another thing that he's, uh, he can just shout and make you mad, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know how, how I can actually really deal with him in a minute. So he's up there going towards that building. Okay, well, screw you, buddy. Well, uh, well let me just mark that for later. We'll come, we will come back for him. Uh, not completing it. We're not finished the playthrough, so we've killed, you know, all the bosses, mini bosses. Um... So we just go and head up in the other direction. Um, we have made a decent amount of progress today, though, all things uh, considered. I got 20 minutes. Okay. Some things ticked off the list, so to speak. Yeah, I killed a couple of simple bosses. Got some new items and stuff. Still not got any levels, but you know, let's not worry about that, eh? Okay, so I want to check over in this direction. Is that, uh, is that a red one? Is that a, a golden one? I can't tell uh, what colour that is. Oh, okay, let me deal with the rats first. I thought I heard some squeaking somewhere.
one thing I do particularly like about, aside from just having the best stats, there's that blood uh, build up. That has definitely helped us out on more than a, a few occasions. A frenzied burst. Okie doke. Let's, let's have a look at this. Um. Got, that was a spell, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 22 faith we need. Emits concentrate and blast of yellow flame of frenzy from the eyes. <laughs> yeah, we saw them using it, didn't we? Uh, uh, incantation or originating from the maddening three fingers. They said concentrated blast of yellow flame of frenzy from the caster's eyes. Uh, charging enhances potency, enabling the blast to penetrate the enemy's guard. In times past, every single person who attempted to control the flame of frenzy succumbed to madness after a desperate internal struggle. This incant incantation is testament to a meagre victory. Lovely. Okay. Alright, let's so we'll keep going. Uh, oh. Keep going this way. Oh, a foul of foliage. I was trying to tell me it's going to be a madness flower. I don't think it's anything like that. Right, okay, we've got one of these big boys. I've already marked that one. I can't check my map. Yeah, I think I must have. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Oh, we got a little graveyard here. Okay, cool. Let's first see if we can get the items here without. Oh, no, I'm going to go mad. I'm going to go mad. Oof. It's just runes, but still, I want them. Guys, if the flat, the poison wasn't bad enough. Okay, I think... Let's get away from this one. There we go. Right, okay, that seems to be everything, roughly speaking. Um, so we cleared the, the weird tower. So we got that mystery there. We've uh, obviously got the uh, the uh, tree avatar down here. Um, we've got the, that dark spirit madness guy up there. He's a bit of an issue. Uh, but essentially, okay, we haven't headed to this giant gate. We should try and do that, I feel. Yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be helpful to just have a little look at this. Okay, that's what we're doing. I doubt we can get in there. I feel that's like, it, I get, looking at the map, you get the sense that that's like leading to yet another area to the north or not even northeast of um of where we are currently so i really don't think we want to be going there but i would like to uh have a little look what is there and i found a spot to get down safely not this way um Uh, yeah, I don't know, cop. I don't know uh, if he was like using. Yeah, because he, he looked like he was using the AOE madness attack, didn't he? Which uh, 
presumably is supposed to work on him himself but who, who can say uh how much that may uh, affect him if at all oh okay i was trying to be clever i don't think that's the thing jumping up there not me being clever i mean that's probably not a thing either but <laughs> Uh, how many runes uh what to uh to use we've got 253 <laughs> uh, um oh you mean just just give him another go i, I don't know copy was uh i mean i know i've got to kill him at some point it just uh I think I've got a couple of good hits on him, but then he was just like, everything die. And I was like, I, I can't, I need to, uh, I don't know, there's got to be something that can, uh, like, maybe not completely protect you against madness build up, but give you some measure of uh, protection from it. I would hope so. But, you know, we'll just stick him on the list with all the others. You know, when we get to the point of, oh, I've explored everywhere in the game, but now I've got a list of 30 bosses we need to fight, then, you know, then we'll have to deal with him. But until then, I'm not too, uh, not too concerned. bats first I think Definitely beneficial to check everywhere in this game, despite the, uh, the size. Right. Um. Oh, sorry. My actual, uh, my actual uh, rune items got quite a few. Yeah, you, you know me, cop. You know me. Right. Yeah, exactly. The rainy day. Look, it's raining right now. Don't pretend it's not. <laughs> I will, I'm sure I will undoubtedly use them at some point soon. But like I say, I all the time I can make progress in a direction, I'm going to not worry about it. I, I, I see us, you know, when I feel... Oh, dragon wound grease. Nice. Oh. Oh, does that mean... Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> um, was that a little bot there, uh, Colt? Um, oh, see some grace up here. Nice. Uh, yeah, as soon as I feel like, oh, we've hit a bit of a, uh, a brick wall, like I'm stuck here, there, and everywhere, what are we going to do? Oh, this is sus. I've got to check it out, haven't I? Um, then we'll absolutely be using it anything and everything at our disposal but uh there's just so many possibilities at the minute we've, we've we're not even i haven't you know you can sometimes feel like that in dark souls you're, okay i have to fight this boss the only thing for me to do is fight this boss right here you know i either fight this boss and beat this boss or i stop playing the game i don't i, I feel that uh that's the beauty of Elden ring is that yeah yeah 
You've got all this freedom. Crazy amount of freedom. Um, you know, what do you want to do with it? Uh, so, like, but as soon as I feel that uh, the, f the freedom has uh, dropped off a little bit, uh, and we've got to start uh, getting stuck into things, then I will um, I'll definitely, uh, well, you know, we'll make use of everything we've got. But until then, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too worried. So we're still, uh, we're still exploring plenty. Still got plenty to see and do. Um, yeah, Ryan. Oh, you saved Ryan there. Uh, uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, cop. I trust you. <laughs> um, work is done, is it, Rancid? Yeah. Off you go, buddy. Well, thank you for hanging out, Rancid. It was a, it was a pleasure, my friend. Uh, and thank you for dropping that follow. And um, like I say, we'll be uh, on Elder Ring for uh, the rest of the week, basically. Um, and then we will keep the playthrough going. But it'll just be uh, at kind of a much reduced uh, rate. While we, you know, I've got, uh, obviously, I've got uh, patrons who, you know, they uh, want to see other things as well. So um, we'll be getting on that in the, uh, the near future. I've come all the way around here to check and... There wasn't anything. But you don't know unless you did trek. Now, let me poke my head through here. I doubt we're really going to be heading up in this direction. This is definitely... Got a bit of a vibe going on here. A very scary vibe, if I... May say so. Okay, let me just... Uh... Okay, I know. I don't think I need to heal up to... Okay, let's talk to this ghost. Hello, bro. It's there somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the Erd tree. An ancient tunnel. Okay. Well, it's not that way, is it, buddy? Right. Well. Okay. Uh, can we... Maybe I should go looking for some maps. That's what we should do. Oh, the Grand Lift of Dectus. Uh, okay. Uh, can we use it though? That's the question. Does it need to be? Does it need something to activate it? Yes. Okay. We we cannot go this way yet. <laughs> oh, but that's the vibe I'm getting, at least. Okay. There's the grand lift. Okay, cool. In cool and interesting. Right. Okay, let's um we're basically the end of the stream. Uh so let's just review what we've accomplished today. Uh this giant landmass uh to the east of the lakes is basically we've tidied it up. Um not completely tidied it up. Okay, I've got some I've marked some dude there who needs uh, killing. Uh head over there at some point once we've done a thing. There's another entrance to the underground. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch of the mausoleums stomping around. We've got the um, another um, Erd Tree Avatar there. We've got the mis Mystery Tower there. Um, we've got the Dark Spirit there. And... Uh, oh, Random Merchant. If we bought all of his stuff, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we found the Grand Lift there. Okay. And of course, we got the giant uh, magma uh, worm up there to fight. Um, so there's still things we need to do. But in terms of basic exploration, that area is now done. So tomorrow, <laughs> um, what have we got? Let's start on the other side of the lake. I guess. So I've got this little bit here. We did travel up here because we went and did the Ever Jail. But who knows? There might be little sneaky things I didn't see on, you know. Now this plateau, this big chunk of a plateau, I am not sure how we get up there, if we can get up there. But we should have a little look around the outside to see if we can. Now we can get up here. That cave is done. Another Erd tree there. We should probably look at that. 
That looks a little suspicious. A little tower or something. Um, what else we got over here? That ever jail is done. Nice. Um, and we've got to that uh, that uh, grace there. But looking at up on this hill, looking at air. Oh no, we have got even further. I don't think we looked at any of this stuff. I think we were just riding through some kind of structure there, something down below there. Uh. And then we've got a whole mess of stuff up here. I don't see any reason why we can't get to that. So I think... Uh, and then obviously we've got stuff over here to the east of that. Um, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to get to that. So I guess that will be our uh, plan for tomorrow. And in fact, if I have time tonight, I might even start the basic exploration of that area tonight. Um... If I get up to this fortress looking thing, I might not do that and save that for stream tomorrow. Um, and I guess we try and finally maybe tackle the lake bed. Uh, which some of it we've done. We've done this massive mess of ruins at the, the front here. And we've done a few little bits down here, but this m massive uh, forested area on the south bit we've not done. Not done the temp wherever the temple quarter is. And of course, finally, we need to try and get our key to get in the academy, which should be there. Um, and we've got stuff up to the north as well. My God. The game that nev never stops giving. Um, uh, Lightning Knight. Uh, yeah. Was that, was that this guy hanging around here? I did. I thought... Is it kind of a lightning bro hanging around out there? Um, it was a little bit tricky. Uh, but yeah, lots for us to do tomorrow. Um, I mean... <laughs> where, where do I even begin? Uh... Yeah, so I guess that's roughly what we'll do. Do the outside section there, if we can. Yeah, it's going from all the way around like that. Uh, finish up the lake, get the key. Uh, maybe start heading to the academy when we get the opportunity. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, in fact, let me um, let me send us somewhere. So I'm ready to do the exploring. That seems like a reasonable spot. My God, this game. I wonder if I will get to some point where I, I feel I'm just don't. If like you were up against a couple of bosses and I'm just too weak, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Okay. In fact, I'm just. Uh, I'll just sit down there. I'll do. Let's jump over here for a minute. Right. Okay. It was one that was pinned. Obviously, yeah. He must have just murdered us then. Yeah. There's some like oh no, there's some chunky knight stomping around. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll get on that at some point. What we got here? What we got here? Uh. I mean. friend requests from uh, on discord from people who've never spoken to always a little bit always a little bit sus isn't it and has, uh, and has joined the conflux so we'll keep an eye out for that person um oh did i fr oh I, I friended them by accident i didn't mean to do that uh, um that's right let me get rid of them <laughs> uh, oops we have the wrong idea then Remove friend. There we go. No, I didn't mean to add you as a friend, obviously. There we go. Dumb and gone. Silly me, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, let me get rid of that for a second. Hush, there we go. Ah. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed it greatly, cop. Um... 
because I know there's uh, some of our viewers who are just not. No, this isn't their vibe. This isn't their vibe, and that's that's fine. Because uh, you know the Isnib show is uh, for life, not just for Christmas, not just for Elden Ring. Uh, so I say we'll uh, we'll dedicate all of Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday stream to Elden Ring and part of Thursdays, and then af and then from the following week, I will do my best to dedicate a single stream per week to it. But we do uh, we do need to. Be, you know, making a move on other stuff. I know, like, some people might be, uh... But the opposite people might be like, Oh, no, yeah, just just become an Elden Ring streamer is. Just do that forever. <laughs> and, you know, and the, and the amount of enjoyment I'm getting from Elden Ring at the minute, that's, you know, I can think of worse things. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, Sea Star, thank you for being in, my dear. You, uh, you're awesome. Uh, Red Mage, thank you, sir. You're also awesome, but... And sorry about the technical issues today. They're still not looking good at the minute, but they caught up. A little bit of a, a little bit of frustrating stream, but I'm glad to be back with my mic working and all the rest of it. But um, uh, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Um, backing up here. So uh, let's get from the top. Oh my God, there's a lot. Very very active stream. Uh. So yes, thank you to Ryan for the resub. 15 months. Bless you, Ryan. You bad man. Uh, thank you to RFD for the follow. Didn't speak up. Don't know if a real person. They shouldn't make assumptions. Um, of course, you can you can spank me anytime, Math. Um, uh, thank you very much to Root for the resub. Uh, thank you, Root. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think I called it. You, uh... You're already, like, in credit on on subs, but I appreciate it. Um, thank you to uh, Ryan for chucking a bunch of bitties as well, Ryan. Thank you. Um, uh, and, and Ziri, Ank Ziri for the follow. Uh, Wiz for the follow. Uh, Urchins for the uh, the gift sub. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Urchins. Uh, a moment of your time for that massive uh, raid there. Appreciate it. And uh, coming in with your, uh, your uh, dropping the follows from yourself. Uh, Kaze, uh, Beans Machine, uh, and uh, Freak Mojo. Uh, Mojo hang, hung out for a bit. He, uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Um, good, always good to uh, have a chat with uh, anyone who's uh, into what we're doing. Um, yes, so thank you to Ryan for the uh, the gift sub. Uh, thank you to Rancid for the follow. Um, who gift subs, uh, Ryan? Thank you. And thank you to Coptimus for the 10 bits there. Uh, greatly appreciate it, guys. You're all awesome. Um, I'll uh, I'll try and come back tomorrow with uh, less technical issues and even more energy and pizzazz. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let me find someone for us to raid. Who's around? Oh, oh, that's always a not pleasant surprise. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> How curious. This is interesting. Uh, we're talking about Malejo and Elden Ring later. Uh, oh, look at that. Malejo streaming Elden Ring. And he's even, maybe we, maybe we'll try it again. Maybe I'll like it this time. I wonder if, um, not inspired him, but maybe me, my, uh, bemusement at his, uh, lack of interest in it. <laughs> I encouraged him to uh to give it another go. Um uh, loads and loads of awesome people who are currently streaming. Uh so many people I could raid. Uh Malejo aside. I don't know if he started a new game or whether he's carrying on with this uh thing. But we did we did raid Malejo the other day. Not that that's any reason I shouldn't. Uh he's up there uh for me with slight of uh people I'd definitely you know not that I like to tear people, of course, but there's people you're closer to and you, you know, you you want to, you root for their success specifically. Um, and Malejo is one of them. However, someone I ha haven't raided in quite a while is streaming. Uh, Mr. Wrong. Mr. Wrong is also one of my favorite people. Um, so go see him, I think. Uh, he's playing a new Pokemon. Uh, he is a Pokemaster. So let me set up the raid to go see lovely Mr. Wrong. 
um bundle of joy and he's got yeah he's got he's also someone else who's got a new job recently everyone's getting new jobs better jobs new better jobs i respect that um so yeah if you anyone here doesn't know mr wrong he's an absolute gem um he's a poker master and uh he's uh yeah he's a good friend of mine i'd say i, I, I get to speak to him rarely but yeah hang around for a minute you might like him you might hate him like, Ugh, who's this scum <laughs> But then you go, you could just block him, can't you, or something? <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. No, uh, I think he's a gem. Um, but yeah, he's got he's he's got an amazing attitude, positive attitude. I'm jelly of uh, the amount of food he eats and his metabolism to not put on weight, <laughs> among other things. But anyway, guys, I'll return tomorrow, same time, another full day of Elden Ring. Uh, if anybody needs me to announce tomorrow, you can message me on Discord. I will get back to you. Assuming you're not a bot, but uh, <laughs> or graphics artist, just friending me up without even saying anything. <sighs> I need to get some food and then uh, we'll see what the evening holds. Let's uh, let's go see Mr. Wrong. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.